And welcome to the Kirkland Soccer Complex. It's senior day. It's American theme day. And the Tigers look to pick up their 10th win on the pitch to go to 10 and three overall and four and two in the district as they welcome in Ponca City tonight who are three and seven and one and five in the district. Broken Arrow fourth in district six three standings. They're two and one. Correction, three and two in the district. Ponca City second to last in 6A, three standings. Uh, as far as goals go, Broken Arrow is averaging almost five a game. They're giving up one and a half a game. Dan Hawk alongside JoJo David. And we've got senior night. JoJo, and you're all decked out as well. Very much so. The, sa the camera sadly does not get to witness this beautiful one piece set. Whatever it is I'm wearing, I don't know what it is. Onesie, not all onesie. USA. It's a great day today. Obviously, you can classify who are the seniors and who are not the seniors by the beautiful pink bows that they have on their head. So shout out to that. And them should be a good one today. Obviously, I mean, B.A., we're like, uh, you would think that this game is like, you know, like B.A. is like really good, Paga is it? But then if you don't underestimate just because it's senior night, all these things, play like we normally would and get ready because it's playoff time soon. Let's go to the P.A. announcer with the starting lineups for both teams. Number eight, Kelly Boyer. Number nine, Emma Steichen. Number 12, Kyra Allison. And number 14, Didi De La Garza. Number five, 55, Sanaya Rab. Number 18, Callie Van Hosen. <laughs> Number 20, Rylan Raider. <laughs> Number 22, Melanie Schaefer. <laughs> Number 23, Jaden Lolar. And number 24, Adriana Gilbert. And now, the starting eleven for your Broken Arrow Tigers! <laughs> starting at goalkeeper number one, Jalen Hammond! Number three, Natalie Herring! Number 10, Alexis Mujeres. Number 11, Austin Brown. Number 14, Trinity Shanahan. Number 15, Haley Henry. Number 16, Hannah Anderson. Number 17, Tori Henson. Number 21, Brooke Dodd. And number 23, Bianca Lopez. Fans, we ask that you stand and salute the flag, all military veterans and active duty military in uniform. Salute the flag as we play the national anthem.
And like we said, it is senior night here at Kirkland as the Lady Tigers look to pick up their 10th win of the season as well. There's several other games going on the pitch this evening. We'll keep you updated on how those go as well. But the Tigers have to take care of business on senior night against this team from Ponca City that has struggled the majority of this season. So Tigers not going to want to let one go, especially here on senior night, because Ponca City is 3-7, and 1-5 and five in the district. JoJo, Tigers, black tops, black bottoms, white tops, blue bottoms from Ponca City. Yeah, it's a... It's a big game today, big day, senior day, obviously. You know, weather outside so far. 65 degrees, a little bit of wind going on. Things going to get a little more chilly later on today. You know, everybody's decked out in the red, white, and blue for USA for this senior night. It's going to be a great day of soccer. And, yeah, and a lot of these, you know, the, the girls team and guys team included, a lot of them were talking to me. They are like, we're, you guys, you're going to see like two goals from me, and that was per person. So I think it's going to be a lot of goal scoring. Hopefully we can see some stuff, get some good calls from the two of us, and yeah. Well, like you said earlier, the Lady Tigers, the ones with the pink bows on their head, those are symbolizing our seniors out on the pitch this evening. So there's a quite a good amount of seniors that are representing this Tigers team. Other scores from around the area already, Piedmont, on top of Eisenhower, 4 nothing. That is the only score that is reported as of now, but we'll keep you updated on the course of this game. Before the game starts, JoJo, today was a special day at the high school. I know that you guys honored a very, very special youngster. It's been Smile Week, and I know that that's a big festivity as well, but the Make-A-Wish Foundation was a special day today. Explain all that to us. Man, I'm not going to lie to you. This is my first time being in attendance for it, and I'm not going to lie to you, Dan. I was choking up, man. You know, real men cry, and I was at the verge of. It was really emotional to see, like, really just, like, passionate, the passion between Ava Skipper and Morgan Lingerfeld to put this, like, have this awesome Week this whole year, putting it together, making it happen, and to see it come to pass, raise over ten k, ten ten thousand dollars for Brooklyn and her family to go to Disney World to uh, accomplish her wish. So it was a good line of all day, you know. Um, and before that, uh, me and a few other students, we got the opportunity to be at the new event center. And it was like they had like a superintendent meeting thing going on. And we were like, you know, we were just kind of like walking there, like showing them where to go, being guides. So that was pretty cool. So all day I was not in class. Sorry to all my teachers. But, you know, <laughs> I, I enjoyed some time outside of class, you know, getting some big decorations done, all these good, all this good stuff. And now we are here. Yeah, we're here on the pitch. We'd like to thank our one club sponsors, First National Bank of Broken Arrow, Cincinnati and St. John, Tulsa Bone and Joint, TTCU Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. Tiger Threads, it's located at the northeast corner of the new event center in the south end zone of Tiger Stadium. It is your go-to for all Tiger gear in need. Open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. The address is 2200 North 23rd Street, Suite 161, Broken Arrow Public School staff members, you enjoy an additional discount as well. We are underway at Kirkland. Ten seconds have passed. Tigers with possession, and they're going and attacking the Ponca City Wildcats. Yes, sir. We have a great lineup up there with Bianca Lopez, Hannah Anderson, Trinity Shanahan, and Haley Henfrey in that back area. In that mid area, we have Brooke Dodd, Austin Brown, Cameron Magic. Then we got Tori Hansen pushing forward with Alexis Morales. And I believe on that far side, it is Natalie Herring. So we got a good lineup of girls out there to start off this game and hopefully finish off this game with a lot of goals, you know, so we got to see that happen. And a lot of another special thing going on, my little brother is in attendance. You know, we talked about him a little earlier in the stream. He is down on the field with the Jungle Squad. First time for him on the field, or has he been down there many different times? Uh, this, is, this is his first time down there. Um, gotcha. his, his soccer coach wants them to come to the games and, like, watch the high school level, so I, I ended up ch taking him to this one, but I'm not down there. So you, you can know. give a shout-out. What's his team name at the Pee Wee level? Um, something Express. Something Express. Something okay. express, but it's BASE, so shout out to him and them as he's down there, and hopefully we can see a goal scoring. Good good job right there by Haley Hanfrey, I believe it was, sticking through with that ball. If the Tigers score a goal, will your brother run with the team as they always do to celebrate? Oh, uh, Probably not, I'm not going to lie to you. I will say we have – Big BA has not been set up. I'm very concerned if that gets set up or not. It's it's the flag that we run. Okay. It's not – I think we're going to see a goal. That's because you're up here, JoJo, hanging okay. out with the cool kids in the press box. I don't know about kids, Dan. <laughs> Adults. Adults, okay. <laughs> Throw in for Ponca City. 
right on the line, but the Tigers squeeze that one out. Good give by Henson to Magic right there, and Magic's going to keep it. Making Magic moves with their feet happen. Still's got it. Goes for the cross, but it's going to be a corner kick for the Tigers. So this right here could be a really good opportunity for Broken Arrow early on as we're 37 minutes still to go in this. So that corner kick from Cameron Mahika. Yeah, that's why I always call her Magic because when I first met her, her last name was hard to say. Good cross right there through. But Ponga's going to get in front of it. Dodd uses her body to get by it. Tigers have a big opportunity. Is Brown's going to set it back to Magic. Yeah, Magic going back in the middle. Lopez can strike this one. She's got the leg too. Going to toe for it. And she tried First. to curve it, but that one's going to go off the fence, out of bounds, and Ponca City will take over. Yeah, first shot on goal. Not too bad. Good look by her. Put a little too much on it. That win kind of carried it a little bit more, so it's going to stay nil-nil so far. It's worth three minutes in already, and that's going to be a – Easy, easy way for the Tigers to get the ball back with the clumsy turnover by Ponka right there. Ponka's got it. That's going to be go right into Anderson's feet. She's going to give it to Austin Brown, but put a little too much on it. But so far, it's been pretty much all possession broken arrow. I think they're going to call offsides on Morales. She kind of she she was back at first, then she came back in, so they called it on him. It was just barely offside, so nah, not too much. You know, it's it's always by by the littlest of a hair they will call that offside. So I will say it's it's it was the right call by the ref. Although you know my my biased ba self, I will say that's a fair call in the in, in the soccer world. Morales is a good job pressuring her over there, and that's an easy takeaway by Cameron. That was. A, she ain't had to put no effort. The, the cookies were given to her. Like we said, district game, they're 3-2. and two, So a win here to close out the regular season would move them to 4-2. and two. As far as standings go, they will probably remain in the fourth spot, but we'll be heading off to the playoffs for Broken Arrow, regardless of this outcome. But seeding and potentially hosting and all that good jazz, you want to win and close it out here. I believe we are. Are we hosting playoffs? And yeah, they're going to call that one right there on Anderson. I don't know about that one, but I guess, I guess. I know on the boys it's a foregone conclusion that they are. I think the girls have to have some a little bit of help. Um, but they're, regardless, playing in the playoffs. We know that for sure. And it, yeah, that's what matters. And that's they are setting up Big B.A. I spoke about it earlier. We've got a pole vaulter. You've ran with Big B.A., haven't you? Oh, of course. How much fun is it to run with the big BA? I'm not a fan. It's it's a bit overrated <laughs> to, to me at least. My my favorite flag was T. I loved I loved running T. Ah, T, T for but Tigers. Yeah, but the main one I ran was the I. Like I was the main flag that I was assigned to always run. But T was my favorite. All the other ones were great. Big BA was just like it was all right to it's me. It's a little beefy. Yeah, it's just a lot of people like like because you go into the, you go into like the end zone, you like wave it and the figure it and you plant it. A lot of people liked that, but to me I was like you know if everybody else likes it, man, I'm just like different for liking it i guess good throwing right there also check our social media pages out there is a flower sale going on at vanguard they've grown all those plants all year long and good they are now by Henry. be so. going to be selling for horticulture so you can be checking out vanguard and also our very own philip hadley u.s history teacher at almost 10 years working at broken arrow high school made his aerovision debut today in a story done with dan hawk what was the story about a little spoiler today, alert. a little spoiler alert today marks the 29th anniversary of the oklahoma city bombing and so we did a story about what the investigators had to go through to find the vin number regarding the bombing so check that out i think we'll be playing that in between games on the broadcast today between the boys game and the girls game but a teacher that you should have had in class jojo that is really cool content i will be checking that one out so if i could check it out why can't you yes Good plug right there. My, God's gonna. My goal is to have JoJo in every one of my stories before the the this year ends for graduation. From that story. already failed, but Magic's gonna take the shot. Just a Magic little wide. Yeah. If she would have 
okay. taken Boxing. some sauce off on it, that would have went into the back of the net. 100%. Could have just taken off some sauce on there, but, you know, it lifted a little bit high. Too much sauce on it. Take that sauce off. It's going in the net. But second shot on goal for the Tigers. Applying that pressure immediately as Punk has been kind of just – just dry through it all. Hasn't really done so much so far, but I also can say they haven't had much opportunity. Then we've got a player down on that side, either that or it's stretching. I think I they are stretching. Well, I don't know if you saw, but that ball went over into the JV complex. So Hammond had to throw a ball in from her end all the way to the other side to get this one back into play as we're 32 minutes still remain until halftime. Yeah, Mirage is going to use her body, calmly let that one go out, and it's going to stay. What? Yeah, she kind of pushed her a little bit, but I guess, you know, I guess we'll let it happen. I think we had just a sub on the Ponca side. I don't know who it was that came in, but subbing out right there was Danny Har Harder. Or, yeah, Danny Harder. So, early sub in for Ponca. Hope we get some fresh legs out there. That's a good give, but... Lopez safely just heads that one out of there. Good job by her. Good read. Getting it out of where it needed to be. And Dodd. I believe that was the first time in the entirety of this contest that Blanca has crossed players. their side of the field into Tiger territory. Yeah, so far they've been dominating. And then, then the opening kick, obviously. Yeah, they've been dominating, doing their job well. You would think that, I mean, a lot of, not a lot of these seniors always get that the play time that they would they, they think they get. So, you know, you would think that it kind of fell off by um, putting out those people out there that aren't like our normal starters. But sure. so far, so well. Tiger's been playing great. I mean, it's nothing's changed at, at all. And, and that's a good job on Morales using her body. Still in that one. And, bros, we talked about it last stream. Talk about it again. Such an unsung hero on this team. And that's a, not a good pass by Dodd, but yeah, Shanahan's going to be there to clear that one up. They become a very, very special player for B.A. Hanson They're using that speed, breaking some ankles alongside with it. She's taking this one herself. She's a one-man train. She's got a... Uh, give magic. to Morales, but... She had a good look with Magic if she would have went down... On the near side. 100%. She gave it to Morales, but Morales kind of stopped. A little bit of miscommunication right there, but good start between both teams, kind of getting some started. But Herring's got it. She's going to give that one to Morales, but she didn't get there in time. Tigers playing very physical ball right now, which is working so far. They're keeping the ball on their side, doing what needs to be done. So I don't know. Physical contest, but nothing too outrageous. Yeah, it's over to Henson. She made moves earlier. She can do it again. She's going to give that one to, to Magic, who's going to make some magic happen. She's going to reset, get it back to Dodd. Dodd near midfield. Now they kick it inside. Morales has it, takes a deep shot. And that one's the first goal just like that right there. Morales shifted from the left to the right, hit it with the left foot, right in the goal. Beautiful goal, and that's 1-0 Tigers. There's Big B.A. Oh, she's getting ready. Hold on. Unraveling it. And who is that Jungle Squad member there? That is Coleman McCullough. And he's not going to run it. I think he got there too late. I don't know what happened, but. Is he a fellow senior? No, he's a junior. Junior. But his mind is like of a senior. He's like a 4-3 GPA. He's top 10 percentile. He's a very smart guy. Very smart kid. Yeah. Now, I know you're going to be graduating. So who will be the leader of this jungle squad? Was like, I, I, there's no I, jungle squad leader, Dan. Well, I kind of feel like you're kind of the leader. Dan, there's no <laughs> jungle squad leader. You don't want me to start animosity here, I see. Uh, it's not even that. I just, I, If there was even a leader, I think it would not go good. Okay. And well, you're the leader of the senior class. We'll lead it that way. That's, that's the way it is. Yeah, Logan Silva. He is the man predecessing the title senior class president today. Oh, really? Yep. And then today, um, um, student council um, president and all the other positions got announced. Um, shout out to Sloan Beasy winning um, student council president, taking over from Parker Wagner. And then my sister, shout out to her for winning service officer. No. So really? she will be working on the Small Week stuff for next year. So that's, that's awesome to see. JoJo David passing the torch to her younger, his younger sister. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the David legacy lives. It's my little brother is there by the BA flag. Just come on, brother, grab it. Grab the flag. Come on. Uh, hopefully, Make big brother proud. Hopefully he reads my senses and chooses to do so. But he's just vibing over there. So, so far, I mean, you know who else is vibing? This Tiger team, man. My, what can I say? one nothing so far. One Beautiful nothing. goal. Play, playing the way this should be. 11 minutes in, you can feel confident. You could see see this game go up to 10-0, which would be pretty to see as Dodd 
Gives it over to Henson to the opposite side. Henson's going to take it herself, but going to kind of just reset. Gives it to Shanahan. He's going to try to keep it, but it's going to go out of bounds. A little too far for her, but. Yeah, that was a good pass down low, but it's just a little too far. Just a little bit. But it's going to be 1 0 still. Inch it down towards 11 minutes to go. I think tonight will be a beautiful sunset. Tomorrow night is supposed to be rainy and pretty ugly looking around the Metroplex of Tulsa, Broken Arrow, and so forth. 100%. And that one's just going to. That should have went out of bounds. Yeah, they're just going to let it play. And Paca's got something going for them. But that immediately gets, oh, I stand corrected. Once it. Soccer's so back and forth, it's so hard to talk about it. But I think one's going to go out of bounds. Yeah, but it's going to go back to Broken Arrow. Good job right there by Ponka kind of streaking downfield, trying to make something happen for him. But it didn't just, they didn't capitalize on it. Good defense by Bianca Lopez. And I believe it was also Trinity Shanahan along with her. Kind of being like a double force in there, making nothing get past them back and forth. Any chance that Ponka had to get the ball, they shut it down immediately by using their feet, moving around, and taking that ball. And since our start, Piedmont and Eisenhower are the only score that was reported. They've now added another a goal for Piedmont, so it's 5 nothing. Piedmont over Eisenhower. It's a good, I don't know if it was a shot or a pass, whatever it was. That was, a, that was a pass trying to get one in, but Hammond there to just gobble it up. Easily just got that one right in her hands. Good warm up for her, you know, first time her seeing some action so far in this game. So go in and get her started, get her hands moving and ready. It's going to be another steal for the Tigers. Just defensively, man, just playing that sound defense. Not like anybody, nobody has really kind of just like pressured them into making a bad pass or a bad, anything like that. So they're just doing their job well, playing the, that good defense. And that's over to Herring, who's going to, ah, that one's going to go out of bounds. She had the opportunity, but. She was unable to keep that ball in inbounds. 26 minutes remain here in the first half. It's going to be a sub out for Ponca. Coming out for them is Jaden Lolar. And I believe that is Alyssa Sullivan coming in for her. Now, I know you are uh, you have a lot of friends across high schools here in Oklahoma, especially in the Metroplex, but do you have any friends on the Ponca City side of the state? No. I actually have enemies in Ponca City. <laughs> enemies in Ponca City. It was at the basket. It was one of our – Best basketball games as a squad. I remember uh, when they were playing basketball. This guy's number 10. I don't know who it was. I don't know who this guy was, but he definitely said some hateful things to me after the game because we were heckling him. Every, he airballed one shot, so every time he touched the ball, we would say airball. Good give take by Austin Brown, but I was going to go a little far left. But this guy, we kept heckling at him every time he – because he took one shot, it was an airball, so we just every time he touched the ball, we just kept saying airball. He done, did not like it at all. We also made some comments about his – his girlfriend and stuff like that, but you know, it's just common. It's just common <laughs> jungle squad things, you know, getting in their heads. It's our, it's our job. It is your job to heckle and have some fun. Yeah. What awesome. sport do you believe has the best heckling? Is it football, bar none, or do you think uh, basketball is there because it's so close on the court? Is that shot from Magic just off the mark that goes out of bounds? I would say basketball because it, it, football, football is a hard one because in football, it's like. I feel like you can't really hear what's happening. Like you can you can hear noise and it's loud, like especially like college football. But it's like you don't hear like what's being said. Truly, in basketball, you can hear what's being said. Correction, that's number thirteen, Roberts. Roberts comes in for Haley Hanfrey. She's been very effective when she's came off the bench for Broken Arrow. Hundred percent. I mean, if we talk about, it, I feel like um, basketball though. Huh? Basketball. Yeah, basketball. That, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but like the depth of this Tiger team is just insane. I feel like come playoff time, that's going to matter a lot, especially later on down the line. Just having that depth that you can use in playoffs. Because not everybody, you know, injuries might happen. Players don't want to play that same way. So it's just having a deep bench that, if, again, their experience now and ready is a good thing to have. And Anderson gets kind of trucked, but Pocket keeps control of it. Just the Pocket fans enjoy it. And that's Riley and Radar. But now Anderson gets that one back. The Tigers are now working it the other way. Morales gets that one from Austin Brown. Good feed by her, but Morales kind of messed up on that pass. So that was stolen right there by Kyra Allison. Good steal by her, but 
Tigers get it right back. Kind of seems to be the story of the game. I feel like any time of momentum that this Paga City team gets, the Tigers just kind of shut it down with what they've been doing defensively. As stated, you Lopez know, I, has got it. Me, I, myself, selfishly, I would like to see a goal out of Morales. We've said a lot of big things about her through the course of this season. I'd like to see a goal for her on senior night. 100%. And she's a junior, too, so I know. It, it's well, awesome well, to see her out there. We'll be able to call her games, or I That's will be really calling her games man. next year, but I'd We're like awesome. to see another goal out of her rounds. 100%. This, this wind is getting very windy, some might say, right now in this moment. So I'm getting a little little chilly. The goosebumps are showing up, but Henson's got it. Putting some moves on her. She's got it, too. Gives that one. But it's going to go. They're going to get it out of there, but it's going to go back into the Tigers. Shot by Dodd. Ah. Just a little too high. Nice effort from that Dodd. Be a for City. Just a little too much on it. And now we have 22 minutes to go in this first half of soccer. And that's going to be Claire Finley coming in. I think for Alexa Morales, most, most likely as it should be. You know, senior night expected. So Morales coming out. Good effort by her. She got a good shot on goal. Good. Good stuff doing offensively and defensively in that mid area. So Finley's going to come in and hopefully do the same thing as she's coming out. And I will say, I was told today they're going to try to get E Boss, Evan Boss, a goal today. The goal really? himself. In the boys' game today. I, I am interested to see that happen. So stick around for that. JoJo, David, and myself will be on the call for the boys' game coming up. A little later. Also going on in Broken Arrow. It seems like every day has been an event for Broken Arrow. Um, over at the PAC Guys and Dolls performance is going on tonight and also over the weekend. So whether you're watching the stream here, be checking out Guys and Dolls this weekend. I hear it's a performance that is for surely going to be remembered. Yeah, those plays are awesome. I'm You've been to, in a play at all? That's no, I have not, but I'm going to awesome. try to make it to there. I've seen videos. I have a lot of friends who do it, so that's I'm, I do want to make it. I don't, know if, I don't know if I can. You know, the schedule's pretty tight. You seem like a guy that could be on stage, JoJo. I was. I did Mr. B.A., but that was about the most of it. Just remember, when you make it to SNL, don't forget about your running <laughs> mate, Dan Hawk. I want to be a writer on SNL. I'll make a shout-out. I could see you on SNL over me, Dan, I will say. Ah, getting a big shout-out. Weekend update with Dan Hawk. He just fit it more. What can I say? Good move by Shanahan right there, using her body to shift everything. Gives Tigers it over to Henson. Near side. Henson's got the speed to just take that turn immediately with no issues. That's what she did, but she got blocked just a little bit. It's going to be a throw in for Broken Arrow. But I believe that Jillian Hawk's going to be coming in for, for Brooke Dodd. Just a quick little so sub out. This time it is number 18. Oh. I will say shout out to this awesome PA announcer by just just the energy he has. Man, I just want to give a shout out to that. Y'all not maybe able to, to, you can't hear it, but for me, I can clearly hear. Shout out to him having energy every single one of these calls. That's another throw for the Tigers. Another score update for you: Edmond Memorial one nothing on Deer Creek. No area scores as far as what's going on in the area. Jinxon Union. Are on the pitch tonight. Owasso, Stillwater, Bishop Kelly, That's Sand Springs. But no scores in those games. We'll keep them updated as they progress. Yeah, it's Bailey Martin and Peyton Phillips coming in for Cameron Majica and Austin Brown. Good effort by them. You know, get the get them their calm, well deserved rest real quick for about five, seven minutes, then get them right back in the game for senior night. And I will say after this, stay tuned. We will be having our, you know, after the girls game, before the boys game is going to be like the senior thing that they do. I don't know what it's called specifically, but. Senior, right? Just senior. Just senior, right? Yeah, that'll be like that whole commencement. And also, there will be a promposal after this. I'm not going to say who because I'm not going to spoil, but there will be a promposal. How does a promposal explain this to me? The only proposals I know is the one I had to get down on my knee. They don't do that for the prom. Well, they? there might be somebody who has just the crazy mentality to like do a promposal and like actually go on their knee. I don't know why they would do that, but hold on. Before we get to that, Bailey Martin makes some good moves. Henson gives it to Shanahan. She can cross this one to the middle as she does so. It's going to be a good save right there by the goalie. No effort needed. Just put her hands out there. Did what she needed to do. That's going to be Madison McCall with the save. She's going to boot this one. 
But a prompt post, it's just like it's it's in the name. You know, you just make a poster. If you want to get flowers, you get flowers. If the theme of it is, like, let, for example, Alex Morofsky, he asked um, his girlfriend to um, prom, and it was like Lego, it was something with Lego, and he got like Lego flowers, and, like the theme was Lego, you know, so. I thought you were saying Lego my ego, and I was thinking waffles for a moment. Oh, Dan. Oh, speaking of food, guys. I will get my pizza today, and it will be free oh. if you were here on the last stream. Yeah, we'll Good through right there, Mike. We'll, we'll work on that to get that set up for you. I know. Hold on. With the shot. I oh, think that's oh, in. Oh, oh. They're not going to call that one in? They did. They and did call it And that's going to be a goal. I was going to say that would be obnoxious to not give us that one. Good strike by Bailey Martin getting that at that top area for the goalie not be able to reach it. That's 2 nil Tigers. 2, ta two nothing Tigers. And Big B.A. is running right in front of us. If you don't know what Big, a, Big B.A. is, it is our giant flag. Fellow Junior is running that right now, but it's it's now 2 nothing with 18 minutes and 18 seconds remaining here in the first half at play. Let's so hear a chance from the stands. Looks like fellow Jungle Squad members. Roberts just takes it away and sends it back to Hammond. Hammond goes right back to Roberts. And back to Hammond. She's going to boot this one with that big, that strong leg that she's got. And that's going to be a good touch by, I think it's Castleberry over there. Castleberry snuck it through. Finley being mad physical. We love to see that. I think that was all legal. Oh, illegal. Another one. Or illegal. Legal. Oh, okay, legal, okay, okay. Legal. Just making sure. I got That's nervous for a second. I was going to say, Dan, who are you siding with? I'm so sorry, JoJo. No, I'm just Oh, you don't have to be sorry to me. You should be sorry to all the Tiger fans. It's true. I'm just kidding. And if you want more JoJo and myself, we're going to be starting our podcast eventually someday when he becomes all famous. We, we could do it. I will be doing a podcast in college. I don't know what it's going to be called. I don't know what it's going to be constructed of, but there will be one done. That's going to be Trinity Shanahan, Hannah Anderson, Bianca Lopez coming out for – Lila Mars, Evan Shaw, and I believe that is Landry Turner. So three sub outs for the Tigers. There's three sub ins come in with the 2 0 score, 17 minutes to go, and that is that. Some scores for you Piedmont leading 5 0 over Eisenhower, Mustang leading Bishop McGinnis 1 0, and Edmund Memorial still leading 1 0 in the first half for. Soccer. What else we got for you, JoJo? Uh, we just got to shout out to our awesome One Club sponsors. If you ain't heard it once, I'm finna say it again. First National Bank of Broken Arrow, Ascension St. John, Tulsa Bone & Joint, TTCU Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip, and also Tiger Threads, located at the northeast center of the new event center. It's a good give right there by Martin. Excuse me. Getting it over to the other Martin, and that's that twin-to-twin -twin connection. We are twinning today, 3-0 Tigers. Broken Arrow starting to make quick work of Ponca City. Tigers looking, like I said, as we began the broadcast, to pick up their 10th win of the season and their fourth win in district play as well. A win in this matchup against Ponca City would give them their fourth in district play as well. And that's, that is awesome to see. But you know what else is awesome to see? Jack Henderson and Charlie Baker just waved at me. I am fangirling right now. If you don't know, Charlie Baker is a musical artist on Apple Music. He has an, uh, one song called Another Day and another song called Overthink. If you love Justin names, Bieber, you will love Charlie Baker. So stay tuned for his music. Well, just a shameless plug, per awesome. usual. Always for the guy, Charlie What's he Baker. What's up to his followers now? Do you know how many? He, I, have, I have no idea. Let's text him. Maybe we can get Charlie Baker to sing us a song after the next goal for B.A. Oh, you know, uh, can I bring him up here and can he do it? If Smoker allows it, you know, the head coach of Broken Arrow Boys Soccer before her game, uh, then I would say it's okay. But we'll see. Roberts with the ball on her end. Tigers oh, he, oh, he, he looked at me and he's opening his phone. Oh, there's Mr. Baker down below. And he said no. He's nodding his head no. But he's got one more year, so maybe we'll see it happen on his senior night. Jillian Hawks got it. Gets Could it have back been to a special broadcast tonight on senior night. I will say he did. Like They have like a senior thing that they do every year, 
and he performed live some music. Three songs that he sung up there, so it's pretty cool to see some videos. Good give right there, but nobody there, Sally, to receive it. It's going to be an easy save right there. For McCall, she's going to boot this one out of there. You mean 3 no Tigers, Dan. Do you think we could see a 10 nil score right here? I know Mr. Hadley, he said he has never seen that ever happen, but he's seen it once. I stand corrected. He has seen it once happen ever. So I'm sorry for the false news that I just gave you guys. I apologize. It's been all Tigers, though, in this contest. Oh, okay. We need to do our um, Dan and Jodo history of the day. Oh, history what, of the day. What is Ponca City's mascot? The Wildcats. Oh, never mind. We know it. Oh, well, we can see the origination of it and all those things. This Castleberry's got it. Putting some moves on, making magic with her feet. Taking on that left side, crosses it to Martin for two. Ooh, almost. Ah, good clearance right there by the goalie. McCall does a good job getting out of there, but Tigers had a good opportunity right there to make some, get a goal in the net. Could have been Martin's second of the day. He's going to get it back to Castleberry for redemption. Part two. Gives it to Finley. Ah, so, so close. <laughs> Or correction, the side of the net, no go for Broken Arrow. That was good stuff right there by Finley. I mean, Castlebay kind of fed it to her. She had the first shot. It deflected back to her. Second shot on it, a little bit to the left side. So she's going to get it in there, but good stuff by her. And that's going to be a sub for Ponca City. Coming out is Kinley Sauter, and then coming in will be Melanie Schaefer, so sub in for Ponka right there. Hope he gets some fresh, fresh legs to hopefully help them to support and get a goal as it's been all Tigers, as Dan said earlier, in this first half. Do we have the information for it? As in uh, factoids about Ponka City? Yes, sir. Well, the big one that sticks out to me is my wife's all-time favorite Christmas song. It is I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. Gail Peavy is from Ponka City. That is so random, but you know what's you know what? If it's you guys, a popular song. If yeah. you look it up, you'll know the song. If go, you go. guys were not tuned in on this stream and were not watching, you would not have known that. So that's why you should be tuned in all the time, not just for soccer, but just for facts from me and Dan. I'm sorry. trying to look up some other. There's been a couple senators. Don, no. Don Coleman, he's in the College Football Hall of Fame. I don't know who that is. Okay, here we go. Here, here we uh -oh. go. Here's, uh -oh. the, here's the factoid, and we have a history teacher sitting next to us. He will validate this factoid. Ah. This is kind of a big one. Stanley Ann Dunham, that the mother the of U.S. Tigers. President Barack Obama. Mom is from Ponca City. Wow. W-O-W. Wow. What a cool fact. Let's get crossed by Martin real quick. Let me get to the soccer stuff. Mars has got it. It's still in there. Shaw with the shot, and that's a beautiful shot by Shaw. It curved so beautifully in that left area. 4-0 Tigers. 4-0 gonna... Tigers with 11.47. As we inch closer to halftime. Good guy, I just realized not a, se a senior hasn't scored yet. No senior goal. What the heck? No senior goal. One other famous athlete from one 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 other athlete from Ponca City. He's won four Super Bowls. Uh oh. John Kolb, offensive lineman, played for Oklahoma State back in the day. Yeah, I don't know who that guy is. Uh, good job by Ponca. They can make something happen here, but good steal by Martin shutting that down immediately, it feels like. But they got something happening for him. It's going to be an easy save for Do for Hammond. Excuse me. Just getting right in front of that one, taking it. We're down to 11 minutes. 4-0 Tigers so far. So that's some of your factoids about Ponca City. I will say nothing beats anything about the, the Millers, the Yukon Millers or whatever. Nothing beats that fact That stuff. Fact no, that's stuff. a good one. That one was too good. Ponca City did have a minor league team from the 1920s to the 1950s. Uh oh, Finley might get there possibly. Ponka's gonna clear that one out, but that yeah, they do. It's gonna stay gonna throw, throw in. 
But I will say, Dan, our, our, our last stream, the, the shoeless guy, um, I got a lot of comments from students and teachers saying how funny that last call was, one of their favorites that they had between the two of us, due to the fact that we spent two minutes of the call commentating about this guy putting his shoe on. Well, I mean, it's because you're a lyrical genius on uh, the mic, JoJo. We, you know what they say, we over me, shout out to Coach King. <laughs> That's the terminology we always stand by. It can plug it into anything, not even just basketball, in life. We over me. Oh, the Pioneer Woman's Museum is in Ponca City as well. Dan, I'm not that old, man. I'm not like a his history like geek. I know about history. I enjoy history, but I'm not like that that smart with it. Let's go give to Finley. Finley putting some moves on. Finley with the strike, and Finley almost with the That's shot. A Goes a little bit above that net. All right, I'll redeem myself for factoids about Ponca City. Okay, I'm listening. Ponca City was one of the filming locations for Blake Shy's all-time favorite movie, the 1996 Twister movie, Ponca City. Okay, that I do know. That's one fact that I know. So there you go. Blake Shy, it has a huge smile on his face. He just geeking out, laughing. Yeah, I wish you guys could see it because he is so excited to hear that fact by Dan Hawk. I got to give Blake Shy a lot of credit tonight. He's our director, producer, engineer. He'll, he'll chime in every now and then as well. He does it all for Aerovision, and he's working solo tonight with one camera op upstairs. What a Dealing guy. with the wind. So give a clap to Blake Shy for all the work that he does. You know does what else he needs to get? Oh. Give a clock to the Tigers, too, man. Four, four, four nothing. Nail, four Not a bad nail. half. Can Dominance? they get six? Six more, JoJo. Let's bet on it, Dan. No, I, I'm just I can't kidding. Bet on I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Dan, Dan, I was joking. <laughs> I was just – that was my joke for the day. I know that you guys can't, can't mess around with any of that stuff. <laughs> so if anybody is, like, watching and, like, they got mad at me for saying that, I'm sorry. No, I'm it was sorry. just a joke. But Lala Mars is giving get that a go one to, here. to Shaw – over to Phillips. Phillips in the middle. Clears it out. Just going to set it out to that right side to Martin with the hit. It's going to stay with Mars and a little bit of a high shot right there. Might have been the wind. Might have been the wind that helped that one out. But Put a lot of sauce on that kick right there. Very much. Too much sauce, some might say. You know what isn't too much sauce? That cane sauce, Dan. I don't know if you had canes in, in Idaho, but. Now, I'm not a, I like Waldo's chicken. Not a big fan of raising canes. Really? I, I, I will, Facts about Dan. I'm not I, a raising I, canes fan. I will say the thing about canes is without the sauce, it would be not good not whatsoever, good. but the sauce makes it amazing. And what also would be amazing is a goal right here by the Tigers with Castleberry. They're going to stop the game for some reason. I think it's going to be a. Foul or something that it was on the Tigers. I don't know what it was, but offsides. I see one of our favorite soccer players is sitting down here in the middle. Jeremiah Rosinski. Man, oh, man, where do I begin about that guy? Love him. He's such a, such an energetic, awesome dude. And I want to see I want to see goals from him. Ukraine Hammer. I think that, isn't that what we called him? The Say Ukra what? The Ukraine Hammer. Ooh, that's a good one. I didn't call him that, but I, that's, that's going to stick. It's sticking tonight, folks. First senior night. Evan Shaw's got it. Gives this one through. Is there a player back there? Castleberry that was there. That pass was just off the mark. Really good. Castleberry putting some spin moves on her spin cycle. John Wall style, but just gets it over. To Turner with the cross. It's going to be an easy save from McCall right there. So we're getting towards, almost towards, five minutes to go in this game. Piedmont added to their lead. It's now 6-0 on top of Eisenhower. Mustang still beating Bishop McGinnis, 1-0. Edmund Memorial leading 1-0 as well. Some scores that we're looking to hopefully get to later. Bishop Kelly and Sand Springs, Owasso and Stillwater, and the rivalry, Jinx and Union. Oh, is it a rivalry, though? A, a lot of them that I hear, it says it's not a rivalry. It's just dominance. But Just dominance. Okay. For me, at least, I don't agree with that. That's got a good, good give to Castleberry. She's got the speed to get to it, too. Going to put on some Saved moves. Saved it in. Barely. Gets it over to Phillips, and this can be something right here. Phillips with a not too good of a touch, and that's going to be a turnover. I think it bounced off Phillips' leg and a little too much power right there it yeah. seemed like. Shout out to Mr. Morofsky, Alex Morofsky's father right there with the High Point University merch. If you don't know, Alex Morofsky, although he's a talented soccer player, he is a very smart guy. He loves Walt Disney. And that's going to be a goal right there. Excuse me. Excuse my French. I was talking about High Point. That's going to be a goal for the Tigers. 
This is 5 0, but still no goal for a senior. I think it was Landry Turner or Claire Finley. I don't know which one it was. I was not looking, sadly, but once again, 5 0 Tigers. It's going to be Landry Turner with the goal. And last game, she had, she did have, I think she had uh, a two goals or a goal last game. I think she had the first goal to start it off, excuse me. So good to see her coming with that, coming back with that. So a note, note for you, the Tigers have gone above their average. They get about four and a half goals a game. They're at five right now. And they've not had any trouble adding to it this evening. Good gives by the Tigers. That's going to be a turnover right there. That's what I was saying earlier. Um, Alex Morofsky, although he's a really good, talented soccer player, he is going to High Point University in North Carolina. Um, he is big in, like, mechanics, technology, and building stuff. He is fathomed by just Disney World in itself, and he wants to, like, work for Disney whenever he's older. So that's what he's going to be pursuing. You're going to hear a little bit more about that later on coming for senior night. So just a little shout-out to him. And he told me he's going to get two goals today. Two goals. He said two goals at the least, but him no. and Josh and Goy. The one I'm most anticipating is a E-Boss goal. I would love to see. Also, shout out to Evan Boss. Uh, recently, he signed at um, Northeastern State University. I'm not going to say I'm like a genius or anything, but I was talking about about a month ago on the stream. I said that he was looking at signing there. He's probably going to get it. So he's off to uh, Northeastern State with Jack. Yes, sir. Jack attack. Yes, sir. That's going to be the little combination right there, that center back and goalie duo. Good job by Phyllis. Just sticking her foot out there. Easiest steal that she'll get in her life. It's a good give, and they're going to say, ah, they're going to say offsides. Come on, Ray. I don't know about that one. That one, fine. We'll give it to the ref. He's doing a good job. Yeah, it's 5 0 anyway. Give him some justice. They're out there in the, in the bright, bright, bright green ref kits. I don't know if they're going to call them kits or not. I don't know what they would call them, but. I don't know if you can tell, but they are very bright. She got some giggles from the stands. Just just, just good vibes today. I mean, we saw a Smile Week thing. We saw this. It's just a lot of stuff going on. Did Morofsky do anything with that, knowing that it was Disneyland? Or Disney World, that is? Um, He was not there. They had to be here for a second. Good move by Castleberry. That's money. Ah, almost money. I stand corrected. I might have jinxed it right there, but... Still good take right there by Castleberry. She's using her speed. It was given to her perfectly on that through where it needed to be, but just a little bit on that left side, not where it needed to be on that shot. Three minutes and 20 seconds left until halftime. We'd like to thank our one club sponsors, First National Bank of Broken Arrow, Sense and St. John, Tulsa Bone and Joint, TTCU Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. Tiger Threads, they're located at the northeast corner of the new event center in the south end zone at Tiger Stadium. It's your go-to for all Tiger needs are open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the 2200 North 23rd Street, Suite 161. Also, Broken Arrow staff members, you get a Ooh, discount good. as well. Martin with the shot. Deep one right there, but good save by McCall. She put her hands out there calmly and grabbed it. Good hold by her getting that save. I think Martin could have just slowed it down a little bit, went more inside, and then went to the net. 100% could have happened. Good touch right there by Hawk getting it over to, to Martin. He's going to take a wild kind of bicycle kick in a sense with it. She gets it right back. She's going to keep it. She's, the, the Twins themselves have been really dominant. Good job by her reading it out to force it. The shot, Morales. Good save by McCall. Easy right there. Just give it to her. Try to fall to her knees real quick. Gobble it up in the hands. So we're down to 2-10 two, two to go in this match. Once again, Hawk has a beautiful touch. Like It's like that, that first touch that he has instantly with her foot. That's beautiful stuff right there. You don't want to see that from like your center mid, center defensive mid, having a good touch with the ball. Castleberry, oh, my gosh, breaking some ankles. Goodness gracious. Come on, Cavaliers with the goal. That was some art right there. That was some Kyrie Irving art shot. And good save on McCall, though. Just had her hands where it needed to be right there. 140 remains. I think it's at this point. Tigers need to make sure just comfortably, just make sure nothing bad happens, play it well. That's but I think it's crazy to finish a, a senior night game with no senior scoring. we got to yeah, make it gotta, happen. got to get that happening for the seniors on this squad. It's got to happen. If not, they're just going to have to put me out there and I'll get the goal. I'm a little rusty. Let's I go got, get I got, the Hawk. I got money on your little brother doing better 
on the <laughs> soccer pitch, JoJo? Yeah, he probably would, Dad. He probably would. We actually we 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 um, went out outside yeah, and played a little bit. Oh, we've got some some graduates out there. We got Striker Moon and Blake Blake Nally out there. Some two graduates from the soccer team last year. I'm gonna have to go by and say hello soon. Love to see that from those two. As they're both at NSU, so it's pretty cool. Blake Nally actually um, committed to NSU to play soccer, so he's over there doing that. Striker Moon was on the soccer team last year, so good to see some alumni come back to support their current seniors on this soccer team. Down to 40 seconds. Tigers. Clawing back. Ooh, man. He just had the lingo on point. Clawing back because a tiger has claws. 10 out of 10 stuff right there. ESPN, where are you at? <laughs> oh, good moves by Martin with the spin cycle. Martin sending it up. It's going to go out of bounds. I don't think nobody touched it, so it's going to be Ponca's a goal kick. That will probably do it until halftime. Ponk is slowly Ten, nine, going eight, for the ball. Seven. I think at this point they're just going to have to reset their minds, try to see what they can do to come back from 5-0. That will do it. It's halftime. Lady Tigers in front, 5-0 on Ponca City. We got the second half coming up in just a little bit on Aerovision. For JoJo David, I'm Dan Hawk. Go Tigers. Just an hour after that, so we're talking about two and a half hours after the initial bombing, they find a piece of the VIN. Philip Hadley, the energetic U.S. history teacher at Broken Arrow High School, has a special gift for making teaching engaging and memorable for his students. And they had no memory of this person. They, they, they are literally just using a uh, description. For Hadley's students, they became private investigators to help solve a portion of the Oklahoma City bombing in U.S. history class. I mean, within two hours, it was literally about 11.30 a.m. The bomb goes off at 9.02, so it is about two and a half hours, and they found really the, the missing piece that they need for, for to solve the crime. Students were on their feet, combing through shredded pieces of paper, like seasoned detectives aiming to uncover Timothy McVeigh's elusive VIN number, much like the real investigators in Oklahoma City did after the bombing 29 years ago on April 19, 1995. They found it on the rear axle on a crashed car. So the fact it landed there is insane, but the fact that they found it isn't too crazy. But in this, this would be insane. Can you imagine investigators found the rear axle about 575 feet from the bomb crater near the Regency Tower apartments? It held a partial VIN crucial in identifying the bomb carrying truck, making a monumental breakthrough in the case, much like our students' discovery. That's it. Doing this, like, really put it into perspective for me and, like, made, helped me realize, like, they got really lucky and it was, like, it, put all, it made it easy for me to, like, understand how hard it was, like, how they were able to find the event number. Just to understand um, how crucial of a piece of the puzzle it was, I think it's really important. The students found that needle in a haystack, making education and learning come alive. Reporting at Broken Arrow High School with Aerovision, I'm Dan Hawk. the greenhouse here at Vanguard Academy where students have been help raising flowers all year long. It's all part of their FFA flower sale that will go on this weekend, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But more importantly, it's about learning about horticulture and how a plant can grow. Whenever I started, there was nothing in here in August. Most of our plants came in as plugs, so small sprouted um, plants. In the greenhouse, students got to see firsthand how flowers grow, starting from right when the seeds sprout to when they blossom into beautiful flowers. We've learned a lot about growing the plants and how to raise them and what they're, how much water they need and like humidity levels and stuff and different kinds of dirt for different plants and stuff and then fertilizers and it makes them grow bigger and better and they just, we get to make them look good. Watching flowers grow in the greenhouse wasn't just about learning. It was about diving into nature's own classroom. The students got their hands dirty, 
really felt the magic of seeing seeds sprout and flowers bloom making their learning experience something they will never forget. They learn to look for things that aren't, aren't growing well. Why is it not growing well? Um, problem solving, critical thinking, using all of those life skills that they're gonna have to use somewhere in a career someday and applying those to their everyday life. If I had an impact on like their environment, their home environment, we'll have more like health throughout our environment because they're taking the pollen to the other plants and it's just really cool. Be sure to stay in touch with us on all social media platforms to find out where we'll be at next. At Vanguard Academy with AeroVision, I'm Dan Hawk. This year's program is entitled After Me Comes the Flood. We wanted to make sure we try to find something really enter entertaining for our audience, but also thought provoking. We really enjoyed the source material by Peter Gabriel and Regina Spector. And we actually decided to take a literal take of the song Après Moi, which is French for After Me, which, which comes from the entire phrase Après Moi Les Deluge. So we decided to kind of take that music, take that source material, kind of turn it on its side and take more of a literal transition and translation to the actual floodwaters. This is our 10th year uh, in this program and I'm incredibly proud of this, the kids and the way that they stepped up for the performances. This is a very challenging activity, it's a grueling activity. Uh, our marching band schedule was awfully grueling and be able to put a season like this, basically it picks right up where marching band leaves off and leads us all the way to the, essentially the end of April. I'm just proud of their work ethic, but we always have tried to find the best possible performance experiences for our kids. There's not very many performance opportunities that are like WGI and what this activity offers. So I'm really just proud of the kids and believing in the system, working uh, together, trusting each other, and learning those life lessons so that our performances can come to life and it's a memory that'll last forever. We have a lot of incredible staff that work with us, both on the design side, we also have some instructional staff members that are with us year round essentially working with our students. So it's awesome for them to create and foster those relationships with the students. We really get to see the students almost sometimes more than their own parents with how much time they spend with us working on these programs. But it's something we don't take lightly. Those students and those staff members all have that buy-in for the same cause of trying to do what's right for kids. And give the show and this experience, give it to these students. It's just something that's a really special gift and we're gonna keep doing it year after year. It's been hard at work really ever since this basically mid to late November of putting this program together. We've had a couple uh, local circuit shows. We just finished our circuit championships where we were awarded the Scholastic World State Champion, which is an incredible honor. And now we're gearing up heading to Dayton, Ohio for the WGI World Championships held at the University of Dayton Arena. Uh, the competition starts on Thursday the 18th, uh, starting with a preliminary competition. Uh, then after that, the top 20 uh, in our class advance to the Friday semifinals, and the top 15 from the semifinals advance to Saturday's competition on April 20th. For those of you who cannot be there, there is a subscription service through Flow Marching, where you can watch every single performance from all classes at all venues the entire weekend and also follow along with Broken Arrow and Door. Tulsa Bone & Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone & Joint, moving life forward.
racing towards the end of the month? Yeah, okay. Ask about our early pay options. <laughs> TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. If you and your family have been waiting for the perfect time to jump into your dream home, it's here. We make buying a new home as easy as it is exciting with quick credit approvals and great rates. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. <laughs> your side hustle keeps you moving. We'll help you get where you really want to go. <laughs> TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. <laughs> Life happens in a hurry. Our money experts will help you keep up. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. Tulsa Bone & Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools, such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedists for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone and Joint, moving life forward. And welcome back to the Kirkland Soccer Complex. Five nothing Tigers over Ponca City. Chance to pick up their 10th win in a row and move to four and two in the district. Boys game will follow, and in between that boys and girls, or girls boys game rather, there will be a ceremony for all the seniors being honored for both teams. So we'll have that streaming on Aerovision. But we are back to soccer. Other scores from around the area, Piedmont and Eisenhower, Piedmont on top, 7-0. Edmond Memorial on top of Deer Creek, 1-0. Mustang leading Bishop McGinnis there at the half. One nothing. Norman North and Yukon. Norman is leading Yukon to nothing. So we begin this second half of play. And Jojo, besides goals, what else do you want to see out of this Tigers squad? Um goals. <laughs> you, you said it best, Dan. Couldn't have said any better myself. Not more so specifically just goals, but goals from the seniors specifically is what I would love to see. There we go. As we have yet to get a senior goal, but we might right now. And I spoke too soon, but Redemption for Brooke Dodd getting it up, taking it up herself, but it's, it's just back and forth. It feels like I feel like one time you could say something like, "Oh, Tigers got it." Nope, Ponca's got it. Tigers got it. It's just back and forth stuff. So we're gonna wait till we speak too soon. As Anderson's taking that one forward, normally center back on this team. As Mraz has got it, she's got her upper teammate to the to the right, taking it herself. Magic, she's onside, and there it goes. That is a senior goal. Point blank period. Cameron Majika making some magic happen with that one. Good feed by Morales, and that's 6 0 Tigers. Yeah, and you might be asking yourself, why does Magic have a pink bow on her head? JoJo? Because she's a senior. It's simple as that. You know, all, all the seniors have these beautiful, nice pink bows on their heads to represent their seniors. I guess. Go B A. Go B A. They were part Simple of it tonight, Jojo. Always hard. Even though we might not chance it, we claim it. Shanahan making some moves. So the Tigers get a goal from Magic. It's now six nil. And the Tigers are once again on the attack. It's a good gift to Harry. She can get there too. Cuts it inside, but loses it. But Henson coming like, ah, uh, and I think they're going to the call off, offsides or foul. I don't know what it was. Yep. Free kick, so. Call. I'd like to thank our one club sponsors, First National Bank of Broken Arrow, Simpson St. John, Tulsa Bone and Joint, TTCU Federal Credit Union, 
the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. Don't forget about Tiger Threads. They're open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. They're located at the 2200 North 23rd Street Suite 161. And Broken Arrow Public staff members also get a discount as well. And the new building, as the kids like to say it, it's fire. There's mm-hmm. a changing room. There's TVs. There's all kinds of good products that you can check out at Tiger Threads. And there's discounts as well. So check it all out, the new Tiger Threads. It's inside the new event center right next to the Broken Arrow football stadium. Morales is just a strong body right there. Just She she, she lost it, but she kept fighting to keep it. So just good effort right there by her. I will say the, the, um, the new event center, does it have a name? Are we calling it anything? I'm hoping it's the Dan Hawk Event Center. They'll, oh. they'll name it after <laughs> me for all the broadcasting I've done for them through the course of the last nine months. Or the Dustin Smith Event Center as well. He is our athletic director, and he's hanging out here in the press box. One I, of the two. I feel like it would be so cool to call it the SEC. Just point blank, you know, Student <laughs> Event Center, the SEC. You know what? That's not bad. Yeah, I give you a thumbs up. The SEC. I love that. I don't know. Because I don't think anybody wants to be like, oh, welcome to the new um, event center or whatever That's it is. That's pretty good, JoJo. I just think SEC. You know, that's an OU fan, too. You know, we're going to the SEC. A lot of a lot of SEC stuff is happening in Oklahoma, so why not call the SEC? One of the, big, the biggest high school in Oklahoma, one of our new things, the SEC. I think you might be on to something, JoJo. Dan, if I'm on to something, I hope I get some type of credit for did, it. Did we get a nod of approval from uh, D- Dustin Smith? Uh, Dude, we just got a side eye. Just got a side eye from our executive director That's of athletics. However, though, you got to see the new event center today, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I saw it. I saw you it saw it a couple weeks more, ago when, yeah. when we had the um, wrestling European event. wrestling, yep. or the Georgians, rather, coming to town. But thoughts on it jojo so cool dude oh my gosh uh, before we get to that let me see some else putting on some moves making some body shake and almost getting a goal in the net good save on the call right there getting the fo- her fist up there punching it out it's gonna be a corner kick though and you know tigers if there I, I wish we had a stat for how many times we score off the corner kicks it would probably be a pretty high percentage leading in in the state of oklahoma but we seem to have a really good chance of getting goals whenever we take these goal kicks but yeah, the event center is really cool. Um, for the money that we put towards it, I think it's so worth it. Um, space for wrestling, volleyball, um, you know, cheer can do stuff there, pride, things like that. I think it's fire. And I heard it's, like, available for, for rental for places. And I heard, like, the, the head of construction guy talking to, like, the superintendent people, and he said that they're talking about OSS, OSSAA is talking about having dual state there. So a lot of cool stuff that that thing can bring to pass. So That's going to be a popular place. I know the home of Aerovision will be in there as well when we broadcast our games on the stream. Oh, so dude, I saw that too, and I'm so jealous because I never get to use it. No, that's it's, not true. It's if, like you wanna, if you want to come back, Dan, you're you're always welcome to Dan, be on the call with me, JoJo. Once once a senior, only once a senior at oh, Broken okay. Arrow High School, man. I can't come back. Well, I guess we won't give you that check in the mail when okay, you start. I'm calling coming us. back. <laughs> I'll be on the way as soon as you call. Or damn, she, good job by. By Ponka using their face to prevent that goal right there. That was um, Adri- Adri- Ad- Adrena Gilbert, and that's going to be a hit in there. Is that going to be a goal? Oh, Austin Brown had it given to her on a silver platter. Brown was trying to sneak one in and went off one post and then went off the goalie. But Ponka avoids another goal into the back of the net. I was going to go into Henfrey, but... Almost a good opportunity for Ponca to get that one. That was throw in for the Tigers. It'll be Henry. Yeah, Callie Van Hosen got to that one. Quit. That's their captain, I believe. She's wearing the red band, so that signifies that. So she had a good opportunity to get into her, but just barely lost it. Good steal right there by Austin Brown, getting her feet in there. And Magic's got it. Can make this two goals for the seniors. That's over to Herring. Herring down in the corner, sends it up in the middle. Ponca gets it back, but not before the Tigers get it right back. Magic wow. now with the ball. Guess it's a match with the strike right into McCall's hands. Good save by her. Well, we do have one senior goal. Got to make it two, though. We've got to make it two, according to JoJo David. 33 minutes remain. Shanahan gives that one to Henson. Henson it's putting it's some moves on her. Back to Shanahan. So, so, such good ball and body control by this Tiger team, just doing what they can, making space, creating space, not just by, like, through their um, passes they're giving, but making the space for themselves. 
Majeka had the shot with her head, but didn't get too much with it. Good job getting out of there by Ponka, but it's going to be a throw in for the Tigers. And we have got the mascot Larry himself Tigers. out and about for senior night. Have you been in that mascot? No, it is hot in there. I don't know why you would choose to do that. It is, it is, it's not fun. I know our mascot. His name is Ben. He's a great guy. He knows sports, and he's a Seahawks fan. That is my type of dude right there. And you're a Seahawks fan. I am a Seahawks fan. I'm very excited for this upcoming NFL draft. You optimistic for your Hawks? Uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I, I, I'm, I, I'm excited for Sam Howell to see what he can do. That, that's a true Seahawks fan when they're not even thinking about the draft. We haven't really succeeded in the draft, I'm not going to lie. Except except for um, the era of Pete Carroll is done. I, I, I'm happy. It, it was it was needed, but I'm glad he's still a part of the Seahawks. He's like he's like um, one of like the office guys, or so I don't know what it is, but it's good to be part of it. Good gift to Austin Brown. Brown's gonna take it herself with the shot, and that is in. Austin Brown with the goal, and I love to see that one. That's seven nil Tigers, and that is two goals for the seniors today. As Cameron Majica and Austin Brown make that two for the Tigers, and in total we got seven goals. We'll listen in on the crowd right here. From number 12, Cameron Micah. We've got the mascot getting into hitting the dance moves. Let me hit the Dougie kind of with them little little T-Rex hands that he's got over there. But he's doing what he can. I'm telling you, Dan, you should do a Dan Dust Stuff mascot edition. You would not enjoy it, I'll tell you that for sure. There's a long list of uh, things that we're wanting to do for Dan Does Stuff. I've been told they want me to get in the back of the net to try to be a goalie for Dan Does Stuff. Oh, wow. That'd be fun. I'd watch that. I know Justin Pruitt wants me to do two-a-days with Dan Does Stuff and see if I can make it as a football player. I think you could. I know I got batting practice. Good gift of magic. Ah. I know I can That's do I can do batting play. practice all day long. I drop dimes all the time there, so we don't have problems there. Oh, a little confident, he said. I still have the swing. I know I could hit it farther than Dustin Smith on the diamond. I know that for a fact. Man. I mean, he grew up watching the Cubs, so he's used to disappointment. Is Dustin Smith a Cubs fan? Diehard, diehard Cubs fan. I respect it. I mean, the only thing I can really say is my Tigers have a better history as a baseball program than the Cubs overall, overall. You know, I, I wish I could see. <laughs> Would you say that the, that the Tigers have a better history than the Angels? Yes. In recent memory, no. You've got the more championships. Oh, Morales keeping control of it. She could pass this one, too, and she does. And she does, and it's going to go to the back of the net. And that's Brooke Dodd for the third senior goal that we have seen today. Good stuff from the captain. A lot of running going on. we got the Tigers running, the mascot running, and a Jungle Squad member running. That is 8-0 Tigers. Will we see a 10-0? Question mark? Question mark. Eight goals for the Tigers today. They average four and a half goals a game. Ponca City is near, gives up nearly five goals a game. So Tigers just two goals away from the shutout on Ponca City. We'll see what happens here. As the boys team, both squads warming up on the field to our right. Down to 30 minutes and 31 seconds left in the ball game. Tigers get it right back. And they start to go to work. Good job by Magic. Just being mad physical. What's that song like? Let's get physical. Yeah, you know that. That's kind of cringe. I'm sorry. I'm that's sorry that's old school. We know the song. That's I, a good I, one. I knew it was right if you guys said, I had to sing it. I just didn't know the name of the song. Shout out to JoJo calling us old. Well, I didn't call you old. I'm just saying, like, you said it yourself, kind of. Livia Newton-John, that's very old school. So I Never heard of that person ever. <laughs> I know a few Livias, and they go to my high school. <laughs> they go to your high school. JoJo, you're on a roll tonight with butter. That's all I got to say, man. <laughs> oh, with the butter term. You know, Gen Z likes to not say butter, butter. <laughs> so good job by Dan right there using that Gen Z lingo. For the throw in, we have Sanaya Rab getting ready to throw this one in, and she does. This can be something for Ponka, but Tigers just shut that one immediately with collegiate level soccer player Bianca Lopez getting that one out of there. But they still have it, taking some strikes, but. Not much going for him. That might be just a 
Easy save for Haley Allen, who is now in the game. Yep, for Hammond. We have two junior goalies on this team, so no goalie on the girls' side, at least, will be celebrated today for this senior night. Magic. Somebody screams Cameron. Good stuff. Austin Brown keeps it. Still, Still keeps on the it. ball. How about the foot speed from her? And Morales didn't get there. Man, that's some speedy stuff. That should be a throw in Please for the a, Tigers. Ah, I wanted a corner. That's going to be a throw in for the Tigers. We'll take it. It's going to be Haley Henfrey going to throw that one in right there. Under 30 minutes remain. Throws that one into Morales. Keeps good control of it, gets it to Hanford. She can cross this one through, and she does, but I think it's just going to go out of bounds. So it'll be goal kick. It's going to be goal kick for Ponca. We got some subs coming in on that Ponca side. Second half play for Jinx and Union. They're both scoreless. That's Kinley Sauter coming in for Riley Ann Rodder. As far as the other scores, they still remain the same. Piedmont on top of Eisenhower, 7 0. Norman North leading Yukon 2 0. Edmund Memorial leading Deer Creek 1 0. And Mustang on top of Bishop McGinnis 1 0. Alexis Morales coming out for Claire Finley. She has a goal and assist today. That's a beautiful stat line to see some messy type stuff right there. And she has a number 10. And then Sanaya Roberts coming in. Probably was Haley Henfrey. So good productive sub subbing out right there done by Cass Coach Cassie. So again, some fresh legs out there getting those legs. It's been out there. Some rest, some well-needed rest. It's a good take opportunity for the newly in sub for Ponca. The Wildcats getting a little wild out there, but that's going to be shut down immediately. Oh, I stand Ponca corrected. City. It's going to stay with Ponca City. Using his, um, I don't know what year it was from, but he's using very old. Um, why, why? Another old joke on JoJo. Dan, Dan, you're just, you're just, no, you're, you're picking on me now. They don't know the context. Can you, can you tell them what this is about? What I was kind of referring to? JoJo. That's what I was looking for. My eye spectacles. But like the origination of them. because Korean War. Beautiful. And if you would have taken Mr. Hadley's class, you could have possibly learned about the Korean War. Well, I had Mr. Napier, and I loved having him. Tennis coach. Bias to Mr. Hadley. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would have loved to have Mr. Hadley, though. But sadly, I did not. But I learned today he's a diehard Michigan fan. Oh, he is. Good give right there. This one back over two, and she does to Finley, and she loses it at the last second. But Magic takes it right back, putting some moves on with the shot. And that's in what a by shot. Magic. In the corner at 26 minutes, and the Tigers now lead it 9-0 on Ponca City. Such good vibes. We got the crowd getting hyped up. The bench getting hyped, the booth getting hyped, the PA announcer getting hyped with the long extended goal. And big BA is running it out as well. 9 nil Tigers. One more. One more. Do we see it happen? We can only hope, JoJo. We can only hope. 26 to go. Just getting some subs over for Ponca. As far as a history lesson goes, Mr. Hadley told me in the 10 years that he's been doing soccer here for the scoreboard, he's seen it one time to get 10 goals, about one time. As far as goals go on the year for Broken Arrow, they had eight against Stillwater, five against Westminster, Seven versus Kelly Walsh. That one was in Alabama. So they've been able to get to the back of the net with a bunch of goals. Oh, yeah, Putnam City North at home. That's gonna be a corner they did the get Tigers. 10 goals. So it's going to be a corner kick here for Magic. And Ponca City just looks gas. They look tired. They've been... Running ragged all across this pitch tonight as Broken Arrow has came out on firing on all cylinders for senior night. In the corner is Magic. Kick is up. In the middle. 
Tigers unable to capitalize. But they might right here. Oh, good strike right there by Lopez. She's jumping up and down in excitement. She wants that goal. You know, a lot of times the center backs, they don't get the opportunity to get those goals unless they have some crazy take like Charlie Baker did. I think it was like a first and second call of the season. Had a crazy take from the back end to get it in that net. So, you know, I will say senior night, if I'm, if I'm Coach Cassie, I'm putting those center backs in that forward position. I'm seeing them score. Not going to lie. To see the guys, you know, they actually always play that, that defense, hard work, effort, fighting for every inch of keeping that ball away from them. Put them in the front, let them get a strike in the net. So Nia Roberts is getting ready to throw this one in. Tigers. He brought up Sanaya Roberts. Roberts, just a sophomore, so she'll be a part of this team for the next two years and the remaining of this year. Man, Dan, who's going to call soccer with you next year, man? I told you, JoJo, you're going to be back. If that check hits in that mail, I ain't going to you. I will be back. Just kidding. I don't do it right for money. Color analysts make good pay. Hey, well, we'll have to come and see. But Anderson with the good steal right there gets it over to Magic. She's waiting patiently to get this goal. And Lopez going to take a, ooh, a deep strike to the face of Mponka City defender. I think they're just trying to get Lopez this goal right here, and I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. Tigers get it right back. That's Henson. Magic is wanting it, signaling it with her arm in the middle. Yeah, Henson's just looking for the cross that she can get. She might have it sooner. She can create space, and she gets it. Finley kind of opened up her hips to try to let it go to Magic, but it did not. So Shanahan's got control of it. Taking it herself with the through. Uh-oh. Ah. So close. The bench was getting excited, too. All senior parents, if you have a senior soccer player and you are a parent here tonight, please report to the designated meeting area under the bleachers. All senior parents, report to the designated ear. Tigers area back in the, the middle. Lopez with the strike. Ah. So close, so close, so close. We want to see it all happen, I will say. Now all the senior parents getting their cue to head down there. They've got their beautiful little bouquet of flowers. A lot of good stuff. It's a lot of happiness, you know. It is smile week. In free now with the rock. Gets it over to Magic. She's just going to give it over to Roberts or Herring. I don't know who it's going to specifically. It's going to go over to Roberts. Nice pass by being double defended. Good give and go right there. Roberts speeding up with her feet. Racing towards the net. Now pulls back. Good cut in by her. And Magic's got it. Magic with a shot. It's a flat one right there. So good save by McCall. McCall shot her teammates. She's like, yo, I can't do it myself. Just trying to get it done. And Lopez has got it. Just gets it back to Austin Brown. Here's again on the attack. Lopez taking it. She wants this one right here, and I don't blame her. I do, too. I want to see it happen. She gives it over to Shanahan. They're going to say offsides on Shanahan. For a kick to the Tigers on an offside call. The wind has about been the same from start to where it is now. It's just a little chillier. <laughs> Hard to believe that this last weekend was up to 93 degrees as far as the temperature, and you said start time, 65. Welcome to the Midwest. Even though technically Oklahoma is below the Mason-Dixon line. What? True what story. Is. I don't even know what that is. If you would have taken a history class with okay, Philip Hadley, you would have learned. Would I have, Mr. Hadley, answer so honestly. If I took a class, would I have learned about that? Yes. No, he, he said yes. We'll just go with yes. He's lying out his teeth, but we'll go with yes just for the satisfaction of Mr. Hadley himself. You know what else will satisfy me? A goal right here. Oh, man, so close. Herring's got it with the shot. Deflects off a defender. It's going to be a corner kick for the Tigers. Down to 20 minutes. That's Bailey Martin coming in. I don't know who it's for, but we'll find out here in a moment. Nice for Cameron Majika. She's got a little bit of a limp to her. Hope she's going to be all good. 
They got a lot of subs coming Number in. Nine. Jillian Hawk, Peyton Phillips, Peyton Phillips. Lila Mars coming in for Brooke Dodd, Natalie Herring, two, Austin Addison Brown, and Bianca Lopez. And that's going to end it out for today. Number 22, Lila Mars. That's sweet. Did see some senior goals, so I am more than happy that we got to see that happen. So, corner kick on coming. That's high in there. It's still in their feet. It's going around with the shot. Ooh, I just want to see it go to 10, and that's going to be another corner kick opportunity. Tigers. Thank you to Mark Maynard, State Farm for sponsoring Broken Arrow Soccer. The Maynard Insurance Agency wishes the Tigers a success. Norman North now leading UConn 4 to 1. Evan Shaw and Landon Turner coming in. They're just subbing out everybody, just getting some fresh plays out there. Piedmont still on in front of Eisenhower, 7 0. 1 1, Bishop McGinnis and Mustang. Edmund Memorial 1, Deer Creek 0. Trinity Shanahan and Bianca Lopez, or Trinity Shanahan and Hannah Anderson, excuse me. That's a cross right there. It's in a good spot. Come on, Tigers. Castleberry's got control of it, it's still in there. Shot with a high shot. It might come back down. It does not. Goal kick off the city. It's going to be a goal, goal kick, kick for McCall. Broken Arrow. Man, I just want these 18 minutes to go by fast, and that can happen with one singular goal. Will it happen is the question. That wind's picking up. That means I got to pick up this hoodie soon, too. My brother cannot be cold out here. It's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be easy throw in. Throw in for Broken Arrow. Throw in for Broken Arrow. I feel like they should, they should start selling Chick-fil-A sandwiches at these games. <laughs> you know, I feel like that, that's a good free meal to have right there, I will say. Well, Hawks the, got it. I know in the SEC they sell chicken sandwiches. So will they actually? Probably in the new event center. SEC. Good trust by Turner, but nobody's there. Oh, goalie just kind of let it go by. That could have slipped okay. in. That would have been kind of funny. But it's going to be a goal kick. Under eight minutes now, 18 minutes rather. <laughs> Hopefully Tigers can capitalize and finish this game with the goal. Good give and go yeah, on that, that was far a nice right pass. side. And that's through over there. She might lose it, and she does. Oh, Castleberry's got it. She's going to take the shot herself, and that's, ooh. A little too much going over to that far left, so. Do we have uh, Mr. Logan Hawk in the building today? Uh, do not. Ah, we'll say shout out to him last time. He did get a good picture of Getting us. Getting a picture of us from almost 257 miles away. He zoomed in, got it perfect. You could see the smiles, beautiful white teeth on me and Dan Hawk's face. I think, I think he took it from Kawita, if I wasn't mistaken. It's a good way to put it. Not 257 miles away, but good way to put it. That's a flat one. She's going straight into the feet of Martin. Good touch by her. Finley's got it. Ugh, and they steal it. Ponka just let us score pretty please. I'll even throw in a cookie. Smartin's got gives it over to that side. But Ponka's going to get it before it's anybody kick else. kick it back out of bounds, yeah. It's going to be a throw in for Evan Shaw. Throw in for Broken Arrow. They're fighting to stay with it. Martin was, but, and she gets it right back. Good effort by her to keep it. And that might have been a handball. That ball. looked like a handball, JoJo. You know, but it doesn't matter. Go I mean, if I'm a ref and it's 9-0, I'm just going to let it slide. I'm like, you know what, man? I'm just going to let it happen. <laughs> Got some crowd some, cheering. More so crowd screaming. This Martin's got it. Gives that one over to the other Martin. She gets it right back. And good chance right here. And Paca's playing some pretty good aggressive defense. Mars yeah, they, gets they, it over. I've been keeping the Tigers at bay. I know that we have gotten a good amount of goals here in the second half, but since we've subbed in, it has slowed down. 
She's got the speed to get there, but Sanaya Roberts is going to shut that one down and just give it over to Evan Shaw. Hawk crosses that one over, but good header by Ponka to keep it away. But Martin's got it. Feels like, feels like the BS is kind of, kind of playing just like kind of like mellow and dead so far. Not trying to force. I mean, obviously it's nine, nine nil. I don't think they really wanted to go to ten, ten nil anyway. If they just get opportunity, if the opportunity arises, they're just gonna take advantage of it. Shot right there, and that's gonna end it right there. Bailey Martin with the shot, ten nil Tigers. Beautiful way to end it. Let's get to senior night, baby. So the Tigers are victorious here for the first game. Couple seniors find the back of the net. And now we'll go to our senior day festivities. So we'll take a quick timeout on Aerovision. And when we come back, we'll have senior festivities with Broken Arrow Soccer. Stay with us. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personal
will be announced in the seniors as they walk through the arch. Starting off with Hannah Anderson. Hannah was accompanied by her parents, Robert and Tamara Anderson. She started playing soccer when she was seven years old. Began playing competitive soccer at the age of 13 and has been playing ECNL for six years. She has also been playing high school soccer for Broken Arrow since her freshman year. Her favorite soccer memory is traveling with friends and family for soccer games. Hannah's plans after graduation are to attend Northeastern State University to play soccer on an athletic and academic scholarship. Her favorite food is bagels. Hannah's heroes are my parents and my brother because they have done so much for me and they push me to be the person I am today. People who know Hannah say she is funny. Hannah Anderson. Adonai Bayene. Adonai is accompanied by his mom, Yamar Gregesus, and his brother Z Zeru. He started playing soccer when he was four years old in high school and is in, in his neighborhood. Adonai's favorite soccer memory is playing with his friends. After graduation, he plans to go to college and play soccer. In his spare time, he enjoys going to the gym with his brother and his mom and also watching movies with his family. Adonai's favorite food is Ethiopian food. His favorite movie is Home Alone. His favorite song is Through the Storm by YB. And his favorite soccer player is Cristiano Ronaldo. His personal hero is all his parents and grandma. Those who know him say that he is funny and friendly. Adonai's life dream is to be happy and get peace wherever he goes. I believe God is great. Adonai Bayene. Evan Boss! Evan is accompanied by his parents, Patrick and Terry Boss, and his sister, Olivia. He has played soccer for 13 years. His favorite soccer memory is going to San Diego for nationals. Evan's plans after graduation are to play soccer in college and study cybersecurity. His academic accomplishments are being nominated for Academic All-State and getting a 33 on his ACTs. In his spare time, he is part of NHS and goes to the gym. Evan's favorite soccer player is Marcelo. His personal hero is his sister Olivia. People who know Evan Boss best say that he is driven. Evan's life dream is to start a family and coach soccer. Evan Boss. Austin Brown. Austin is Austin is accompanied by her parents, Shane and Amanda Brown, and brother Mason and Blake. She has played soccer since she was four years old and has played various clubs. She has also played for VA since her freshman year. Her favorite soccer memory is traveling to Spain to play soccer. After graduation, Austin plans to attend the University of Oklahoma and pursue exercise science and physical therapy. Her academic accomplishments are NHS and an AP scholar. In her spare time, she enjoys hanging out with her friends and hiking. Austin's personal heroes are her parents. Those who know Austin say she is joyful and adventurous. Her lifelong dream is to travel the world. Austin Brown. Trisha Dodd and her brother Seth and sister Kate. She has played soccer for 14 years. Her favorite soccer memory is going to Alabama her sophomore year. After graduation, Brooke plans to play soccer at NSU, where she will study to be an optometrist. Her academic accomplishments are NHS, 4.2 weighted GPA, and academic all state. In Brooke's spare time, she loves to play soccer, go shopping, being in church and hanging out with her friends. She loves watching Tangled and Messi is her favorite soccer player. Brooke's personal heroes are her parents for always striving to be the best for me and pushing me to be who I am today. Those who know Brooke say she is funny and kind. Her life dream is having a family and enjoying her job. I want to thank all of my coaches and teammates. 
I've had over the years for pushing me to be the best I can be and for making my soccer experience so much fun. Brooke Dodd! Trinity is accompanied by her parents, Meshach and Christina Gabriel. And siblings, Trenton, Rachel, Aubrey, and Raiden. She only played one season to try it out and made amazing memories with many lifelong friends. Her first ever soccer game, I had the ball and knocked someone over and I stopped to help her up and my family will never let me forget about it. After graduation, Trinity plans to walk to attend Wichita State University and study sports medicine. Going to Vanguard has taught her how to make professional phones and emails, building confidence up for real world situations. She loves shoes, shopping, researching shoe history and with her dad. Trinity's favorite food is curry chicken. Her favorite movie is Princess and the Frog. Her personal hero is her dad. I actually don't know where I would be without him. Those who, who know Trinity say she is sweet, caring, and very loud. Hopefully in a good way. Passionate and a sneakerhead. Her lifelong dream is to have a beautiful family and continue to build a strong relationship with her siblings. Trinity Gabriel! Marcus Gaines! Marcus is accompanied by his parents Alfredo and Jessica Cortez and his sister Amani and Aislinn. He has played soccer since eight years old when his mom signed him up. Marcus' favorite memories would be all the bus rides to and from games. After graduation, Marcus plans to get his contractor's license and start his own business. In his spare time, he likes to spend time with his family and friends and just enjoy their company. His favorite food is Chipotle. Marcus' favorite soccer player is Puckbot. His personal heroes are his mom and dad. People who know Marcus say that he is loving and hard-headed. His life in his life dreams include wealth and happiness for his family. Marcus Gaines! Jack Hendrickson! Jack is accompanied by his parents, Joel Hendrickson and Shelly and Daryl Chance, and his sister, sisters, Emma and Kayla. He has played soccer since he was four and has played competitive for WSA for the last several years. After graduation, Jack is going to continue playing soccer for NSU. His academic accomplishments have, maintained, have been maintaining a GPA greater than 3.75. In his spare time, he enjoys spending time with his family and friends. Jack's favorite food are street tacos. He likes the movie Hunger Games, enjoys listening to The Ride by Drake, and Messi is his favorite soccer player. Jack's heroes are his parents. Those who know Jack say he is kind and funny. His life dream is to have a successful career and be happy. And have a Christian-centered family. I would like to say thank you to my family, coaches, and everyone who supported me along the way. Jack Hendrickson! accompanied by her parents, Troy Hansen, and his and sister, Ella. She started playing soccer at seven years old, and a few short years later, she started competitive with TSC. And now she is currently playing for 05 WSA ECNL RL team. Tori's favorite soccer memory is in the lock-in we had at Kirkland her sophomore year where she stayed up and talked to the girls' coaches the whole night, which gave her some of the greatest bonds she has today. After graduation, she plans to attending college at the University of Oklahoma. 
There, she will major in either journalism or social work. Her personal hero is her dad. He has been by my side through everything and supported me no matter what. Toy would also like to say, I want to give one last thank you to everyone that has helped me along the way, my friends, family, and most importantly, my coaches. These people have not only helped me be the player I am today, but also have taught me how to be the person I am today. They equip me with everything I need to walk through this life only the, with the best effort, attitude, and toughness. I am forever grateful for BA Soccer and the lessons and people it has brought to me. Tori Hansen! Natalie Harry. <laughs> Natalie is accompanied by her parents, Henry and Shannon Harry. She started playing soccer at four. She has played for several clubs. I could sit here all day and talk about all my favorite memories, like scoring my first header in boys indoor soccer, scaring my mom with all my crazy goals. But nothing stuck like the nicknames I have gotten. After graduation, she plans to attend TCC while beginning her career in ophthalmology and getting certified in vision therapy. Her personal hero would be her grandpa. He has always watched all of her soccer games from the very beginning and never missed a single one. He was the strongest person I knew. He can't be here with us today, but I know he is still watching me play and is very proud of me and where I have come. Those who know Natalie say she is genuine, outgoing, funny, maybe a little dramatic. Her life dream is to be a mom with a loving husband and doing a lot of traveling. Natalie Harry! Jack Irvine! Jack is accompanied by his parents, Chrissy and Brett Irvine, and his brother, Nick. Great hair, Nick. He started playing soccer at 10 years old at Soccer City and has been playing since then. His favorite soccer memory is going to San Diego, San Diego for Nationals with his club team. After graduation, he is going to attend OSU to study physical therapy. His favorite movie is Cars. His personal hero is Spider-Man and his mom. Jack Irvine! accompanied by her dad, Todd Ishmael, and her siblings, Madison and William. She has played soccer since she was five years old at Broken Arrow Soccer Club, Sheffield, Energy, and WSA. After graduation, she plans to join the Physical Therapy Assistant Program. Her academic accomplishments are the Frontier Valley Academic, All Conference, and a 3.6 GPA. Jewel's favorite food is sushi. Her personal hero is her dad. Those who know Jill say she is crazy, smart, and funny, but shy. Her lifelong dream is to finish college and start a family. Jill Ishmael! Caitlin Mabel! Caitlin is accompanied by her parents, Jim and Lori Mabel. She started playing soccer at two years old and has been on the BA high school team all four years. Three years as a player, one year as a manager. Caitlin's favorite soccer memory is in is the lock-in sophomore year. She will have one more semester of college at TCC before she having her associate's degree in rehabilitation science and pre-medical imaging. Then she plans on transferring to a four-year college to further her education. Caitlin's academic accomplishments are that she is in early college high school program at Broken Arrow and has been taking college classes with TCC since the summer after sophomore year. In her spare time, she is a part of the FCCLA. Caitlin's personal heroes are her parents because they push her to, to be a better version of herself. Caitlin Mabel! Right.
Riley Lieber. Riley is accompanied by her parents, Kevin and Sheila Lieber. Her favorite soccer memory is the lock-in sophomore year. After graduation, she plans to attend Oklahoma University. Oh, correction, the University of Oklahoma. Her personal heroes are her parents. Riley Lieber. Bianca Lopez. <laughs> Bianca is accompanied by her parents, Karina and Gustavo Lopez, and her siblings, Carlos and Yvette. Oh, and her, her bunny, Bowser. She has been playing soccer for 13 years. Bianca's favorite soccer memory is going to Alabama her sophomore year. After graduation, she plans on attending the University of Central Oklahoma to continue to play soccer and majoring in business entrepreneurship. In her spare time, she owns a business that was started four years ago. It's called Gamoy. It's a chamoy-covered candy and pickle kits. That's my job when I don't have soccer. She also loves to read all types of books. Bianca's favorite song is Wondering Why by the Red Clay Strays. Her personal heroes are her siblings. They are my ride or dies. Those who know her say she, she is funny and makes the best chamoy candies. Her life dream is to have the best relationship with God and having my own family and just traveling the world. Bianca Lopez. Cameron Micah. Cameron is accompanied by her parents, Brian and Joanna Micah, and her sister, Morgan. She has been playing soccer since she was five years old. Her favorite soccer memory is beating Owasso her junior year to become district champs. After graduation, Cameron plans to attend cosmetology school to become a hairstylist. In her spare time, she enjoys teaching internships with the special education program and participating in special Olympics. Her personal heroes are her mom and dad for always pushing me to be my best and my sister for being my best friend and supporting me no matter what. Those who know Cameron say she is funny, talkative, and has lots of energy. Cameron Micah! <laughs> Alexander Rorovsky! Alex is accompanied by his parents, Rick and Kim Rowski, and his sister, Addison and Holly. Holland. He has played soccer since fifth grade and competitively since eighth grade. Alex's favorite soccer memory is going to Tampa with his club team for Super Y Nationals two years in a row. After graduating, he plans on studying mechatronic engineering in high, at High Point University. Alex's academic accomplishments are having a 4.0 unweighted GPA, top 3% of his graduating class, 33 ACT score, Oklahoma Scholar, Oklahoma Academic All-State nominee, NHS, mem NHS member, Presidential Scholar at High Point University. In his spare time, he's a part of FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Play club soccer, plays club soccer for WSA, <laughs> works at nutrition spot, enjoys working out, hanging out with friends, going to church, going to a new restaurant, and traveling. Alex's favorite food is steak. Favorite movie is Avatar. Favorite soccer player is Lionel Messi. His personal heroes are his parents. Those who know him say he is funny, intelligent, compassionate, dependable, and outgoing. His life dream is to have a family, travel the world, retire by the beach, and live a happy life. Alex would, Alex would also like to say, all glory to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you to all the people who have been in my life on one point or another. Thank you to all my coaches throughout the years and every guy in this program, from the freshmen to the seniors. I love all you guys. Alexander Murawski! Yeah. 
Mario Naranjo. Mario is accompanied by Mario and Elizabeth. Mario has played soccer his whole high school career with BA. His favorite soccer memory is beating Deer Creek in the semifinals. After graduation, he plans to go to trade school and be an electrician. In his spare time, he enjoys playing pool. Mario's favorite movie is Blood In, Blood Out. Those who know Mario say he is athletic. Mario is also works with his dad drywalling and painting. Mario Naranjo! Benjamin Osborne. Ben is accompanied by his parents, James and Nella Osborne. He has played soccer since he was five years old, started at Broken Arrow Soccer Club, and continued at TSC, where he has played ECNL for several years, along with playing for BA all four years of his high school career. His favorite memory is traveling to San Diego for Nationals with his club team. In his spare time, he enjoys hunting and fishing. His personal heroes are his, is his grandpa. Those who know Ben say he is quiet until he gets to know you. Ben Osborne! Cameron Pavlov! accompanied by his parents, Corey and Casey Pebworth, and his sisters, Grace and Violet. His favorite soccer member is going to stud up on every person possible. After graduation, Cameron is going to trade school and then start his own business. In his spare time, he loves racing his Mustang and going off-roading in his side-by-side. -side. His personal heroes are his parents because they show him what it takes to work hard and be the best version of himself. People who know him best say he is a dog. Cameron's life dream is to be to own his own business. I want to thank Schmoker and Jamie for helping me become the player I am today. Cameron Pedwell! accompanied by her parents Scott and Kimberly Pearson and her sisters Peyton and Presley. She has played since she was three years old played, and played ECNL for four years and then tore her ACL at the end of her junior which ended her career. Her favorite soccer memory is riding the bus home with the girls. After graduation, Keegan plans to attend the University of Arkansas. Her personal heroes are her parents. Her lifelong dream is to be rich and pretty. Keegan Pearson! How are y'all doing? What's up? Jeremiah being accompanied by Coach Smoker and Coach Jamie. <laughs> Jeremiah has put in five years of blood, sweat, and tears into soccer. His favorite soccer memory is recovering from injuries and setbacks, rising after falling. After graduation, he plans he is planning each step and will pay, play professionally in Liverpool for a Liverpool FC in England and dedicate his life to become one of the greatest. I really mean it. Those who know Jerry say he is dedicated to give 100%. His dreams are to wake up fresh and early each day to train hard, to play in the Premier League and traveling the world. After high school, I will live an extra, extraordinary life full of something to remember. Jeremiah Rosinski! Her 
her parents, Slade and Tiffany Shanahan, and her sister Olivia. She has been playing soccer since she was four years old. She started in rec, then made her, made her way up to competitive at nine. Terry's favorite memory is when she represented soccer for homecoming court. After graduation, she is undecided on where she would attend, but she wants to major in elementary education. Her favorite food is french fries. She likes all music and loves romantic and scary movies. Her personal hero is her mom, Mama Tiff. Those who know Trinity say she is talkative and positive. Her lifelong dream is to travel the world and spread God's word. She would also like to say, stay weird and dab on them haters. Trinity Shanahan!
And welcome back to Kirkland Soccer Complex after the Lady Tigers took care of business against the Ponca City Wildcats 10-0. They now shift gears with the boys in action against Ponca City. Broken Arrow has been controlling the whole season. Only one loss, JoJo. They're 6-0 in district play, 13-1 overall. Ponca City enters 3-10, 0-5 in the district. In Class 6A, Broken Arrow is 10 and 1. They average just over three goals a game. And they've only given up about one and a half goals a game. They're first in the district, and Ponca City is last in the district as well. Ponca City 0 and 7 against 6A teams, 2 and 1 against 5A teams, 1 and 0 against 4A teams, and 0 and 1 against 318s. We'd like to thank our one club sponsors, First National Bank of Broken Arrow, Cincinnati and St. John, Tulsa Bone and Joint, TTCU Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. Also, Tiger Threads, they're open now. Well, not now, but they're open in the new event center, 2200 North 23rd Street, Suite 161, for all your Tiger gear needs. Located at the northeast corner of the new event center in the south end zone at Tiger Stadium. Open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. with an additional discounts as well for Broken Arrow Public School staff members. Ponca City wearing the white tops and white bottoms. Correction, that is the Tigers. Correction, Tigers wearing the white tops, white bottoms. Used to them wearing their black tops, black bottoms. But tonight, all white for Broken Arrow. Also, their jersey names 
or have their names on the back of their jerseys. For Ponca City, it's the blue top, red trim, and blue bottom. So we're about ready to take to the pitch. Final thoughts from JoJo before we get this one underway. I just want to see some goals, man. That's all That's all it is to it. Want to see the ball go in the net multiple times for the Tigers. So hope we can see that happen today. Um, been a lot of goal scoring already. We went 10-0 in the girls' game with like about 20, 18 minutes to go in the second half. So I hope we can see that continue in this guys' game. I want to see a lot of specific guys to score specifically also. You know, being me, myself as self, I would like to see one, a Jack Henderson goal, an Alex Morawski goal. And then last but not least, I want to see an Evan Boss goalkeeper goal. And you were telling me pregame that there might be a potential chance for an Evan Boss goal. Uh, how do you see this one playing out if the goalie gets a goal? So so he, we, we talked about it beforehand, and he was wanting to, to go out there and play for it. But he was like, let me, let's talk about it this way. He's like, me, I'm going to college playing soccer. I could get injured. He's like, imagine we're playing this Ponca team. Like, it was our senior night. Obviously, we're going to playoffs, and they're not. And they see a goalie go out and play forward. He thinks they're going to play dirty. So he's playing this way. He's like, you know what? I'm not going to do that. But if you guys draw a pen, I will be the guy to take it. They all are for it. So I think he's playing it smart. You know, you don't want that is a potential happening. Just playing it six. That's our starting goalie. We're going to need him. So he's playing it safe. But if a pen happens, he will be the guy to take that pen. Yeah, and obviously safety is the most important thing. And Kind of a, what you alluded to with Ponca City, 3-10, and 0-5, oh not going to be making the playoffs this year. All bets are off on how this can play out. I, I don't expect them to be playing dirty by any stretch of the means, but, you know, you don't want to go into the playoffs with it, with anybody being injured and having a chance to have this team co uh, you know, be perfectly fit for a deep playoff run because the only one loss that they had was against Bishop Kelly, and that was in overtime. That was at the beginning of March. So Tigers looking to stay on top in this one throughout the course of the contest against the Ponca City Wildcats. Yeah, 100%. And, uh, an ongoing joke from this season, you know, everybody has their last names on their jerseys. It looks all nice. But you notice that number three and number four, Jack Irvine and Jack Hendrickson, on their jerseys, it seemed like there was a, a last name taped onto it. So for some reason on the roster, we talked about it last game, Jack Irvine is listed as number three, and Jack Henderson as number four. So a little mixed match between the two, even though it's not the case. It's flipped. So it's funny enough that they had a tape on their um, last names onto that. So, But, yeah, other than that, that's a good good give right there by Morofsky. He's onside. I'm about to get my tunes ready. Oh, good save right there by the goalie. And that was Augustin Nishi, Nishiwaza. Nishi, Nishi go. I don't even know how to say that, but regardless of it, that was an amazing save right there. It's Nishi Hizawa is my best guess. Nishizawa. Yes, Nishizawa. That's perfect. That is it. Yeah, Nishizawa. What a save right there. That's good in the right spot. Ooh, Naranjo had that one. A little too far on that right side for it to get in there. But, I mean, that was just a good start by the Tigers. That was a good give. I don't know who it was that made that, that deep pass to Morosky, but good run and give by there. It's just that he's barely off the mark, but great save by... By Nishizawa. So Tigers on the attack again. They take it away. <laughs> Pocket still got. It. Just gonna let it go out of bounds. Take the goal kick. <laughs> like I said during the girls' game, we'll keep you up to date as far as scores are around the area in boys' soccer. Another, another good thing about this Tiger team is that we will be seeing us having some home playoff games here. So you will be seeing me and Dan the Man back on the call later on coming. I think it's, is it, no, I don't know if it's going to be next week or not. I would assume. I believe it's next week. Man, that's going to be a, a pretty loaded week then because we got that. I mean, you got two baseball games, a lot, a lot going on. So it's going to be an exciting upcoming um, few days this upcoming week to close out the month of April. Good moves by Pebworth and Irvine and um, excuse me, it was Osborne who had it. My bad. I said I said Irvine, but J H Jack attack. Jack Hendrickson has it, making moves. His feet gets it over to B N A with the shot. That one was a little off the mark. It's going to be a goal kick for Ponca City Wildcats. I, I don't know. I, I love these jerseys. I mean, they, they have been hyping them up from the beginning. I remember um, 
they um, post like they were talking about their, their senior pictures that they did with like their photos they did with Aerovision, and I was like, what are these white jerseys you guys are wearing? It's like it's our senior pic, our senior jerseys, and like they're talking about how good they looked. The last name on there, it's beautiful. And I will say we have one non-senior out on the field. That is um, Gavin Dill out there. You know, little Dilly, only junior out there representing his class. A bunch of seniors out there. He's the only young one out there. So shout out to him. One junior, the rest seniors out there. And regarding these jerseys, they will wear it for this. And I'm assuming they'll wear it at least one time in the playoffs. And once they call it, that they will most likely keep those jerseys moving on. Yeah. Good keeping by Gibbons, making sure that didn't get out of bounds. Yeah, Pepworth nice, kind of yeah, put nice that one behind him. Footwork as well. Irvine's got it. Gets it over to Brzezinski. The Ukraine hammer. That's such a cool name, dude. To give over to the opposite side, but a little too much on it. But Henderson gets it right back. Taking it away, and ball's going the other way. It's a game of back and forth. You never know what side it's going to be on. Good give by Pebworth, but good defense right there by the Ponca State defender. And that was Connor Floor. Good job putting his foot up there, getting out of it. Doing, doing a really good job. It's that, that center, mid, center defensive mid, center back area. Doing what needed to be done, and Osborne's just going to give that one back out to Pebworth. Osborne loses it, but Dilly crosses it back over to Naranjo. Good use, good doing his body. Just going to boot that one deep to E-Boss. Gets his first first action. Good touch right there by him. And they're cheering on the touch. It was beautiful, I should say. And, and not only that, we, we've seen a different, not only are the seniors' jerseys different, but Evan Boss has a different jersey, like an all, all black trim. Kind of looks like a, a tuxedo in a sense, kind of like the build of it. So nice look to it. Yeah, one in the middle. White stripes on both sides with a BA logo in the top right corner of his top. That's that 2020 vision right there, man. Dan could see that from a mile away. He's they, don't, they don't say I got eyes like a hawk for nothing. Mm -mm -mm. Good word play. What else is good is this pass right there by Osborne feeding it over to Naranjo, who's making moves himself. Yeah, he snuck through the middle. A nice pass to Givens. Givens is on sides, too. Gives it over. Oh! Oh, man, that was putting on a platter for the Tigers. They just didn't grab it where it was, and that could have been a good opportunity. Naranjo, Givens had a good give. That was over there for Moroski and Naranjo, but they both kind of just didn't take that opportunity. It's going to stay nil-nil. It's going to be a goal kick for the Wildcats. So we're hearing a, hearing a chant from the student section as Biene does a good job keeping that one in. It's going to feed it over to Irvine, but... One step ahead was Giovanni Cervantes, the captain. That's that back in Irvine's feet. But that went right to Irvine's feet, JoJo. Good give. But Biena gets right in front of it. Good job by him reading that one. So far, even though Ponca City has struggled in the districts and their overall record hasn't been fair for them, they're playing the Tigers decently. Yeah, they're pretty good. You would expect that the Tigers would be up like 3-0 at this point. But so far, pretty evenly balanced stuff. And it's not like we have like a bunch of like our bench guys out there. We have our main starters. So I think it's just a lack of just starting starting off fast too early. But I think the Tigers will pick it up eventually. There's still there's still 32 minutes in this first half. So we've already had some pretty good looks. This is over to Givens on this right side. Nice pass in the middle. Good moves by Irvine. And just, ah. I think he was hesitating, trying to move one up the near the net, yeah, unable was, to go. He was just trying to throw that one over to Moroski. Moroski had other plans. He wanted to cut uh, cut back, not in. So, but he gets it right back. Good give to Irvine. Irvine's gonna shoot it from deep. Goalie takes a hit at it, but okay. at that point it was already out of, out of out of anybody's reach in that goal. So that's gonna stay nil nil, and it's gonna be a goal kick. For Ponca. I said earlier, Dan, the wind is picking up very much. So I would say it's pretty chilly out there at this point. I think we can all agree to that point. Hot chocolate is always good on a night like this. Very much so. Hot chocolate, either watching some playing basketball or some prime baseball. Or in our instance, watching some high school soccer. 
It's a good gift to Morosky, making some moves. Have with a shot. 60 degrees is the temp outside right now. It's not feel, that wind chill must be playing a huge factor then, because yeesh. Sending it deep, but Irvine's there. Bien, it just takes a high up. A good touch by Cam Pep, keeping it down. How many nicknames do you have for all these Tigers, JoJo? Um, well, let's, let's go specifically. E-Boss, I got um, E-Boss. That's one. Oh, good give to Givens, but he's not there. A little too much given in there by Henderson. But, you know, um, Jack Henderson, I got, call him J.H., um, Jack Attack, and then my Sunshine. So that's three nicknames for him. Um, E-Boss, E-Boss, so that's one. So that's four nicknames in total. Morofsky, I call him my precious LeBon Bon. So that's five. Jeremy, uh, just Jeremiah Rosinski. I don't know. Just no, no. Oh. It's the Ukraine hammer. Oh, Ukraine hammer. That's well. That's not mine. That's your nickname, not okay. mine. I can't steal your. Well, I, I can give you that. Good pass by Naranjo. Yeah, Good that was feed. a very tough pass too. Him and Irvine way. just going back and forth. Some beautiful ball skills, man. And they still ah, it's still in there. They're fighting for it. Rosinski keeps it in. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna say out of bounds. Might have just brim, might have just grasped it, grasped it that um that line by a little bit. But goalie uh, ref was just like, you know, let's just give it to the goalie. So that's gonna be a goal kick. Augustin, not gonna take this kick, Jojo. Oh, sir, Astor Kathy, he's playing pretty, pretty good defense so far too. Good job by Pebworth getting right in front of that one. Gives it to Rosinski. Rosinski making moves. Just going to reset it. Oh, shoot it himself, actually. The goalie touched that one. He did not. It's going to be a goal kick. Okay. Yeah, Nishizawa doing pretty good so far. Starting the game off pretty well. Had some good saves. Been pretty active in that goal. You would think that, um, I mean, obviously the Tigers would be up by a lot, but we're not. But at the same time, I, I would say momentum is still inching towards the Tigers. It feels like it, the ball has to stay on the side. Tigers action are. early on, Jojo. Rosinski now. He's just so big on the pitch. Huge guy, dude. Oh, good slide right there by Rosinski. And he wants it. Givens gives it back up the, on the near side. That That's going to be go out. Yeah. It's gonna be the That's first corner the of the day. The Once again, not only do the girls have a high success with these um, corner kicks, the guys do. Our first ever call on a goal was off of a corner kick by the guy who's taken the corner kick, Alex Morofsky. Just going to boot that one right down there. Short line drive. Hopefully Irvine can get, can get there. He's just running and taking himself. Running for his life right there. But Dilly, Dilly's there. Going all the way around over to Hughes. Dilly and Jesse Hughes getting a little physical, but ends up with Dilly getting on top. It's a good give, but nobody's there to receive it. It's gonna let the coach is gonna let it roll out. And there should be a goal kick unless it deflected off somebody. And it is. Like I said, the Tigers are doing a good job. I mean, like just getting it. They they definitely have possession, like. Everything's going towards our side. It's just the fact of the fact of the matter is that we're not finishing capitalizing on these goals. So right. Punk is kind of feeling like, oh, yeah, we got this in the bag. But we're going to see how it turns out anyway. The header was off the mark from Pebworth. E-Boss gets the ball. Well, playoffs right around the corner. I mean... Oh, good give by Dilly if somebody's there. You, and with this being senior night, you really don't want to lose this one. 100%. Oh, good give by Osborne, but nobody's there. Good good give right there. Could have been a good cross, but nobody was there to receive it. Nijizawa waiting for his teammates to get set. He's taking his time. Good Kick. boot right there. Yeah, it was in the middle. But Naranjo staying really active. It's been pretty much all Tigers as far as possession goes, just unable to get something in the back of the net. But 
Naranjo might change that with this strike. Ooh, good look right there. That's Almost. That's a good boot. Kind of, kind of Cam Cameron Pebworth esque from taking it from that deep range. Kind of had that that high. That the the height of it was good, but not the drop. If he had that drop that it had in that first one, could have been a goal right there. But I think so far we're we're kind of messing with Nishizawa. You know, he might be out of uh, um, outside of his comfort zone with a lot of shots that we've had on goal. So I think one's bound to get in there. Toronto's favorite movie is Blood In, Blood Out. I give kudos to that. What, what is that? It's a, just a very good movie. You'll have to look it up, Blood In and Blood Out. Oh, okay. oh good give if Givens is there, and he is. And they're going to say offsides. Man. <laughs> that could have been a good opportunity for the Tigers, but ended up not getting it. Toronto also does some drywall and painting work with his father. So yeah, Nor I, actually had, I actually had... um. Art class with Naranjo in my sophomore year. Him and really? Marcus Givens. We were all like a little mini friend group that we had. So Good match between the three of us. That one's going to roll out of bounds. That's going to be a throw in for the Tigers. So throw in for B.A. Ben Osmond's going to take that one. Wojcinski has it. Gets it over to Irvine. Irvine gets it to, to Naranjo, but he loses it last second. Six minutes have passed. And that's another offsides on Marcus Givens. They're just calling everything on that man. It's going to be a free kick opportunity for him. Oh, they're just going to send this one deep as they do. It's Fabian Gonzalez with the kick there. Sends it out, but goes right back to Broken Arrow. Dilly got it to Bionne. And Moravsky, you know, fun fact that I found out, Moravsky is the second fastest guy on the soccer team. Really? Did not know that. I just didn't think it was a fast guy. I, I watched it, I was like, dude, I did not know you were fast. He was like, yeah. And they told me about this inside joke that they have. You know, we've talked about um, Coach Garland Betts. They call him Unk. Um, apparently they have a joke that Garland Betts is faster than Josh and Goy. So all the soccer guys who come back and watch this, yes, that's the inside joke. It's a give right there to Moravsky. Who is on size, but I don't know if Rosinski is. Morosky with a strike, but too much on that one. Too much sauce. Too much. Morosky is the top 3% of his graduating class, 33 ACT score. He's an Oklahoma scholar, Oklahoma academic all state nominee, and he's also an NHS member. Presidential scholar at High Point University, like you kind of touched on in the girls' game. Yeah, that dude is a D-A-W-G, all caps, dog, is what Alex Morofsky is. You know, on my um, trip to Disney for Florida, uh, or my trip to Disney at UCA for cheer, you know, he's texting me about all the cool things. He had some random facts about Disney I did not know. So he is very passionate about Disney. I've never seen a guy so passionate Does he about have a favorite character from Disney? I don't know. I'll ask him, at, ask him after school. You know, I'm going to send a text now so they can just see it. <laughs> So that he sees We'll it. have it ready for the playoffs, right? Exactly. Do you have a favorite character from Disney? Um, honestly, off the top of my head, no. Okay. There's just like a, a plethora amount of them. I want to be able to say, if, oh, that's close to a handball on Dilly. JoJo's literally texting Moroski a while on the broadcast. That's clutch. That's a clutch move right yeah, there. Yeah, he's not even going to see it, though. Unless he checks his phone during halftime. I doubt it. If he does, that would be even funnier. That would be. It would signify either that this game, he believes it's going to be a not-so-tight one, or at the point of halftime, it is not so much of a tight one. So hopefully, one or the other, and he checks his phone, and he gives us a response. Good gift to Moroski. That's that second fastest on the, on the team speed right there. Should not be an offsides, and it's not. Taking it inside. Gives that one through, but nobody there to receive it. Good job by the defense getting in front of it. It's going to stay on the tiger in the Tigers' feet, though. Good 
Gives it far side and toss on Rosinski. I think what he should have done, Rosinski should have realized he was offside. I think that that give. I think the give was going to Gavin Dill anyway, and he kind of just stepped in front of it, knowing that he was offside. I don't know why he did, but kind of just a, a miscue by, by the Tigers right there, and that shouldn't be happening. I feel like in, in an opportunity like that, you can get an easy goal, and we're 20 minutes deep and still yet to find the back of the net. I guess, like I said, a, a three and ten team, but. And Pep tries to go for it, but right into the shins on that one. That's why we got shin guards in soccer, man. Good kids by Ponka. They got an open opportunity. He's going to take a strike. Evan Boss luckily didn't touch that one. Should be a goal kick. I think it's the, think it's the first time the E-Boss decided to kind of get like athletic a little bit and kind of move around, but they don't really need to in that one. But good, good way to keep him, keep him ready and keep him like fresh in case anything else were to come towards him. Yeah, Ibas dove all the way out. Gets you know, right got, back up. We got Unk, Coach Unk, giving some tips to Marcus Givens over there. You know, I said it, I said it briefly in the girls, in the girls game, but you know, I feel like I was a genie. I did call it that Ibas was gonna go play soccer at NSU, and he did sign last week two and or not last week two days ago to NSU. So shout out to him as he continues to play soccer at the collegiate level. Rosinski wanted to give and go down below JoJo, but Good now they get Givens it right anyway. back. And Rosinski with the shot. That's going to be a corner kick right there, so I'll take that one any day of the week. Big opportunity for the Tigers to make something shake. I think it's going to be, um, I think that's Ben Osborne yeah, or Jack ben. Irvine. No, it's Jack Irvine. Oh, it's Alex Morosky, excuse me. Morosky. Taking that one. Third time's a charm. We'll get it. Good. It's in a good spot right there. It's still in there. It's still in, and that's going to be a goal for Ben Osborne. 1-0 Tigers. The fans go crazy. It is loud in here. Good way to start it. There's Ben Osborne's first goal. I mean, as a center back, it is kind of rare to see him go out there. He's going to co-celebrate with his teammates, get a little excited, give him some hugs, show him some love. That's the flag. Osborne, just a junior, so we'll see him on the pitch next year. Correction, senior. So this is his last year. He's yes, been they. playing since he was five years old. Yeah, and like I said, he's one of those guys, those those gems on this team doesn't get talked out, talked about a lot. I, I'd say that the three most like slept on guys on this team are Jack Irvine, Mario Naranjo, and Ben Osborne. Some key pieces that don't get talked about a lot. I mean, just because they don't score goals does not mean they're valuable. I feel like Naranjo's had a lot of assists this year, had a lot of impact, and that's a good give and go, but gets stolen. Yeah, Osborne, we're giving you these facts. It was tonight his senior night. His personal hero is his grandfather, and. You might be able to answer this one for me. Those who know Ben say that he's very quiet until he gets to know you. Very much so. I, I actually am not, I don't know him that well that well, but from what that is saying, that is 100% correct because I know um, I'll be around in the studio sometimes whenever he's in his leadership class. He's a quiet guy, but his passion for soccer is there, and he's a, he's a really good kid. So one of the guys I, I actually don't know as well as the rest of them, so, but beautiful to see him score a goal. You know, a lot of those times, seeing that center back get their shining moment as a defender and getting a goal in the net is just a beautiful thing to see. That's going to be a throw for the Tigers. It's going to be a throw, and Osborne's going to be the guy to take it. You know, 1-0 is not enough on senior night, man, Dan. I want to see all these seniors score. All these seniors can score, actually, in fact. So I'd love to see that happen. So not so good of a touch right there by Morosky, but he's going to try to fight and keep it. And they're going to call that one, but I don't know about it. Was, Dax Araki did a good job kind of kind of, kind of acting it off. You know, Lee actor moment right there. So good job by him kind of getting it. He's going to stay with Ponka. Under 18 minutes to go now. Tigers lead early. Osborne with the first goal. Good steal by Naranjo. This is an opportunity. Give to Morofsky with a deep strike. That's going to be a corner, though. Oh, that was a corner. 
And it was, yeah. The the ref, the ref, <laughs> ref signified at first. He put it up like it was a goal kick, but it clearly deflected off the defender. So it's going to be a corner kick. I believe Jeremiah Rosinski. What was his nickname? The U. Ukraine Hammer. Ukraine Hammer is the nickname. He's going to be taking this one with the with the left foot. You know, the lefty magic started with Lionel Messi. Let's see if we can get some lefty magic from Jeremiah Rosinski. The ball is up. Low line drive. A little flat, but he can get to that one. He's a powerful guy, man. You know what? I don't want to run with him. I want to run into him. And they're going to call that one. Man. Uh, it was a late whistle. It's called football for a reason. Let him get a little physical, but. One nothing Deer Creek on top of Edmund Memorial. That is the only score on the pitch right now. So we'll keep you updated for the rest of the night. <laughs> Waiting for the free kick from Ponca. We gave you our history facts of Ponca City earlier in the day. Yeah, but Barack Obama's mom was born in Ponca. Never would have known that if you weren't watching the stream. And you probably weren't, maybe you weren't even watching the girls' stream, so you missed that, but we just informed you just now. So thank you for being tuned in to AeroVision and watching this stream today. You can also catch us on Instagram, and Facebook, and Twitter at maybe, AeroVision. Maybe Twitch in the near future. Uh, that'd be. <laughs> and maybe a podcast. Well, there is a podcast. Is Vine still a thing? No. I don't, I don't think so. It's not. You can find us on TikTok, dude. Oh, come on. It's got to be an AeroVision TikTok. It's got to be. Well, you're, oh. you're going to be in charge of it while you're at OU. We forgot to tell you, JoJo. Yep. Let that check hit the mailbox, and I'll be a happy fella. No, I'm just kidding. I do this out of, the, out of the, the joy of wanting to get better. It's good give and go right there by, nice slide by Dilly. Man, oh, he lost the ball for a second, but just. I don't think he knew where it came up. Yeah, beautiful art right there by him. We have an injured Tiger. Cam Peb. Cam Peb was down a little bit. Then they're just going to hold on to it. He's just going to hop off. Hope everything's all right for him. He's off, so I don't think it'll be that long of a delay for the injured Cam Peb. Gavin Dill coming in. Or that's not. That is. I don't. Dill ran out yeah. there. Dill is Dill is 15. I don't know who is 16. <laughs> I told him everything's all right with Cameron Pebworth. Hope he can get a recover on that ankle, whatever it was that had happened. But <laughs> Gavin Dill on our roster's listed as number 16, but he's 15 out there, so. 16 might be one of the stellar freshmen that this team apparently has. It's, they always talk highly about their freshman class, but he is not on this roster, so good moves by Dill. Still with the ball. Gives it to Irvine putting on some yeah. moves too. This this um, defensive unit for the Tigers team is just so like, just like they're just such a W, man. If you want to put it anyway, just they're just a straight up W. Like prime Real Madrid is what they look like in that backfield, I'm not going to lie to you. So it's just, they got a lot of good key pieces out there that can do a lot of good things. I mean, Jack Irvine, the normal starting lineup is Jack Irvine, Charlie Baker, Tea Time, and Osborne. That's a good good feed right there to Nirvana with a good touch. Why do you think their defense is so good? I think the art of a good defense is a good mid. In my opinion, just because, I mean, like, guys like uh, on that mid, I saw, and you got guys like Jack Irvine. I feel like Irvine and Osborne are very similar soccer players, the way that they play and what they can do with the ball. So I feel like having those like those guys like play off of, because it's not always going to be in that defensive area. you got the center defensive mids and the center mids kind of playing that mid area. So working with them, you can get a lot done. And just I feel like we're coached really well on the – the center back area. And I feel like that's a lot due to the fact of the scenes we've had in the past and what we have now teaching the young guys how it is done. Because tea time is, is a sophomore. Charlie Baker's a junior learning from these older guys. So Osborne's going to give that one in to Rosinski. And those are just solid points, Jojo. When you've been playing forever, I know that shot was off the mark by B.A., but when you've been playing forever, okay. it's kind of like us Almost announcing. Eight. We kind of get to know one another very well. Quite literally. Couldn't they put it any, other way, any way better the Hawkeye. 
I know you don't like that nickname, but, I mean, Chat GPT did give me that nickname. It's true. Alan Alda. He's in the press box tonight. Who? who? You don't worry about it. Uh, I'm just showing my age for you, JoJo. Yeah, you guys. It's you guys that made things. They think he's like old. No, not old people jokes, but <laughs> like not non Gen Z jokes. I just, I'm just like a lost. I'm like a, I'm like a geese with no head. When you guys say that, <laughs> that's what it feels like. I don't know why I thought of a geese, but Irvine's got it. That hit the hand for sure, but. And they're going to give that one to us. Well deserved. That, that hit the hand of Fabian Gonzalez hit him in the hand. And Irvine signified for the hand up. And I will say to any um, Bulls fans out there, I am so sorry. You guys will not have not been successful since the Derrick Rose days. And as you guys also take another loss today to the Miami Heat, 112 to 91 to all my basketball fans. As the Heat will be the eighth seed, and they'll be playing the Boston Celtics. And I got the Heat winning, buddy. I'm not going to lie to you. It's the same thing every year with Jason Tatum and the Celtics. And the Pelicans and the Kings are also in action tonight. It's 11-9 to in the first. The Kings are trailing right now. I got Kings winning that one, man. Yeah, unless, unless Zion is healthy and playing. I don't know I if don't he is I don't think he not. is. I think he was ruled out. Oh, good give. Oh, he lost it. And, man, they're going to say... Offsides, man, with another, another, another missed opportunity for the Tigers. Just got to watch their footing and steps where they go. We can any stats from that um, Bulls game? By any chance? Any? I can give you some stats for you, JoJo. Our so leading can... scorers, more so. I'd, I'd like to see like what Jimmy Butler was doing. I in the playoffs, he excuse me, he did not play. Yeah, he didn't. He had an MCL sprain. It's so. interesting to see. So yeah, I think I think he come out. The leading scorer for the Bulls was DeRozan, 22. Also in soccer, it is 1-1 Edmond Memorial in Deer Creek, and that is our only score Ooh. so far. Gibbons is onside too, but good save right there little... by Nishi got Nishizawa. Excuse me, just being he's really really good. You are number 86 too. You never Thank see that. You to Rainbow Nut Butter for sponsoring Broken Arrow Soccer yeah, Team. Nishizawa has just been like a cat in the net so far. Morosky finally keep that win, and he does. And I gotta say, out of bounds. He was unable to keep it in. Coach Smoker talking to a lot of his uh, reserve players right now, giving them a talk. I don't know if it's a stern one, a good one, a bad one, but. A lot of our main go-to guys out there. You got Tea Time, Josh and Goy, Charlie Baker, Hama Lama. They're just over there, just chillaxing, just vibing. They don't got a. They ain't done nothing so far. They just vibing, and I stand corrected. As a lot of them are getting ready to come in this game. Yeah, it looks like Coach is bringing reinforcements in a little bit, so the whole squad's going to take a breather. Good moves, and Givens is there. Oh, Givens good Givens was defense. tripped up from behind. That one's going to roll out, so it'll be a throw-in for Broken Arrow. Got a lot of guys coming in. Hector Ochoa, Killian, Hama, Hama, Lama, Bryce Acosta. Is the entire other half of the team. Yeah, the entire other half of the team, JoJo. It's easy way to put it. Saves me some time from yapping and talking. Basically, all the seniors are coming out getting in all the younger guys as we're inching to actually are at eight minutes and 30 seconds to go in this game. Shout out to all those seniors and all those guys who are out there. Just all the Let's seniors actually. Big round of applause for the seniors as they walk off the field. And Goy's got it. And Goy did tell me he is going to get two goals today. And he said that confidently. Well, let's hope so. We got plenty of time left. But still. before going in to make sure we can prevent a goal from being scored, so that was a good take down the field right there by Fabian Gonzalez. And it's going to reset and get it right back where it was. Now, looking at this with the entire reserves out there. I wouldn't even say, like, I want to say all of them are the reserves, do, but there's a good. Do we see these seniors back in in the second half? Yeah, or? 100%. I think so. They they want they want the goals, and, and Smoker's a good guy. He's going to give them the goals, you know what I mean? They're definitely not going to let it let it end off on one goal, especially after the girls have like six senior goals or I think five. Any, yeah. Any pressure on this boys team after seeing what the girls were able to do? Not at all. They have a guaranteed playoff spot, guaranteed at home. Hey, they're just chillaxing. I said they would have put out 
um, E Boss, if it weren't for him, like making the decision of that thinking that they would, that something bad would happen towards him. So, and Ngoy's moving down that field. Although Garland Betts says he's faster, and Goy's proving me wrong. So he gets to it. The African Prince moving down the field, keeps control of it. What speed by the guy, but still, Ponka gets it right back. Ah, uh, they're gonna call that one on Bryce Acosta. He barely touched him. T times out there. First time seeing him out there today. Good physicality by him. Just a physical guy out there to have. It's Hamalama's got it. Love to see a Hamalama goal, man. Yet to call a Hamalama goal as well. Mr. Hadley, do you have any of these um, guys that you're in your class? Wow. Mr. Hadley has no soccer players in his class. Did you have any of the senior guys in your class? Wow. Interesting fact. Another fact of the day. And that's going to uh, – didn't keep his foot, feet planted on that throw. So that's going to be a give a to the Tigers. The Tigers Six minutes until halftime. Gavin Dill's got it. Ponca City takes it away. Ponca's doing a good job driving down that field right now. Dan, um, are you into the Masters, like golf, stuff like that? Are we, uh, masters of golf? Like, like no, no, no. Like, are you into the Masters? Like, Oh, the Masters that yeah. just took place. Yes. I mean, I'm, I'm a Phil Mickelson fan because I'm a lefty, and he's a lefty. So you so you do be going out there and and, – and, 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 um, I swing left, golf. yes, okay. when, I, when I play some golf. Good touch by Hamalama to I'm Roberts. very good at putt-putt. Yeah, I'm not a big – oh, good cross if somebody's there. It's going to be an easy save right there for Augustin. And we've reached the five-minute mark. I will say to all the viewers, if you did not know, you know, last time, last stream, I was bugging Coach Prude about my pizza, and I didn't know we could get it for free. Today, you got, you got one tonight. I got a free slice of pizza, and it was some great freaking. It was some great pizza, man. I will say, I enjoyed every every bite of it. It was great. So yeah. And then the power on the side too. Not only that, not only was I given a of pizza, I got a blue power on the side. It's gonna be a good cross right here. He's taking it himself actually, and Goy still has got it. It's just staying in that box. He was trying to find an edge there. Did you hook up your little brother with a slice of pizza? No, he had to pay. <laughs> <laughs> Your little brother's giving you an eyesore right now, JoJo. Well, no, because I was. The viewers out there, JoJo's little brother is a fifth grader. No, he's not. He's in third grade, right? Third grade. Yeah. Third grader. Oh, copy. And he's he hanging out in the booth, so we might get hit a debut of JoJo's little brother on the mic tonight as well. We did. Um, he was down there with the Jungle Squad earlier. Had a good time with them. You know, he played some soccer with us too as well. Oh, good give right there. Could be a goal. Yeah! And it is a goal. Dan's hands go up in excitement. Gives me the clap and everything. A lot of good stuff going on for this Tiger team. And that's 2-0. One goal for a senior and another goal for our non-senior. The big BA goes up. Some good stuff. Some hugs, some love out there. And the Jungle Squad will get that go BA chant. And there it is. So just like that, Broken Arrow now jumps off to a 2-0 lead against Ponca City. Reminder for you, Broken Arrow looking for their 14th win, their 7th win in district, and to remain and close it out undefeated in district play. Tea time comes in like a like a freight train as fast as he could. But once again, another miscue on a throw, and it's going to be throwing for the Tigers. No, he's number 44. Changi's number 44. 
So down to three minutes. Broken arrow on the attack again. It's Hector Ochoa. The younger brother of Diego Ochoa. So give to Hamalama. Oh, I want a Hamalama goal, man. He was close, Jojo. He was very, very That's close. Be the Tigers. I will say, Dan, you've, you've caught out to most of my nicknames, but the Hamalama nickname has not hit your lingo yet. It's getting close. I'm Last feeling it. scored was by number five, Kenny Lowe. Lowe with that goal. It's going to stay a goal kick for Ponca. That's right into Ngoy, but his touch wasn't all too good, so Ocho with the good header. It's back to low. But good job by Ponca getting in front of it. But Lowe tries to get it back. Acosta in front of it with the shot. Easy save right there by Nishizawa. Nishizawa comes out. Saves that one. Walks it up. And boots it to near midfield. Lowe's got it putting on some moves. Good ball with my Ponka right there, making some space. But good slide tacker by, I think it was, was that's not Didios. I thought it was, but. Tigers on the attack, they see the clock, and it looks like they want to get one more before the end of the half. They can make it happen, and Goy's taking it down. But kind of not too great of a pass to Lois, it was too much on it. Too much sauce. Way too much. Now we, we love sauce, we talked about it like, Five, six times today. But who doesn't like sauce? Are you more of a ketchup or a mustard guy, Dan? I'm more of a Prego kind of guy. I actually don't know what that is either. Prego, oh, tomato I'm sauce. It's for spaghetti. Oh, you don't like like dipping sauce? I, I like pickle ketchup. What? Or habanero ketchup. I don't like just traditional ketchup. Oh, you're one of those guys. I'm one of those guys. Now, now I'm going to hear that you're going to tell me that the proper way to cook a steak is well done or something. No, it's medium rare. Okay. <laughs> just just salt and pepper, right? Oh, man. Um, not all the time. Well, they get, like that rosemary, that garlic. That, well, because, like, oh, tea time, taking it downfield. Ten seconds. How it could be a corner. Seven, they want to take it, but I don't think they're going to take it. Go take it. Four, so that will do the first two, half of play. Nine. Broken Arrow leads it 2-0. We'll have the second half coming up on the other side. JoJo David and Dan Hawk on the call for you. You're watching Broken Arrow Tigers Soccer on AeroVision. Just an hour after that, so we're talking about two and a half hours after the initial bombing, they find a piece of the VIN. Philip Hadley, the energetic U.S. history teacher at Broken Arrow High School, has a special gift for making teaching engaging and memorable for his students. And they had no memory of this person. They, they, they are literally just using a uh, description. For Hadley's students, they became private investigators to help solve a portion of the Oklahoma City bombing in U.S. history class. I mean, within two hours, it was literally about 11.30 a.m. The bomb goes off at 9.02, so it is about two and a half hours, and they found really the, the missing piece that they need for, for to solve the crime. Students were on their feet, combing through shredded pieces of paper, like seasoned detectives aiming to uncover Timothy McVeigh's elusive VIN number, much like the real investigators in Oklahoma City did after the bombing 29 years ago on April 19th, 1995. They found it on the rear axle on a crashed car. So the fact it landed there is insane, but the fact that they found it isn't too crazy. But in this, this would be insane. Can you imagine investigators found the rear axle about 575 feet from the bomb crater near the Regency Tower apartments? It held a partial VIN, 
crucial in identifying the bomb carrying truck, making a monumental breakthrough in the case, much like our students' discovery. That's it. Doing this like really put it into perspective for me and like made, helped me realize like they got really lucky and it was like it, put all, it made it easy for me to like understand how hard it was like how they were able to find the event number. Just to understand um, how crucial of a piece of the puzzle it was, I think it's really important. The students found that needle in a haystack, making education and learning come alive. Reporting at Broken Arrow High School with AeroVision, I'm Dan Hawk. We're inside the greenhouse here at Vanguard Academy where students have been help raising flowers all year long. It's all part of their FFA flower sale that will go on this weekend, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But more importantly, it's about learning about horticulture and how a plant can grow. Whenever I started, there was nothing in here in August. Most of our plants came in as plugs, so small sprouted um, plants. In the greenhouse, students got to see firsthand how flowers grow, starting from right when the seeds sprout to when they blossom into beautiful flowers. We've learned a lot about growing the plants and how to raise them and what they're, how much water they need and like humidity levels and stuff and different kinds of dirt for different plants and stuff and then fertilizers and it makes them grow bigger and better and they just, <laughs> we get to make them look good. Watching flowers grow in the greenhouse wasn't just about learning. It was about diving into nature's own classroom. The students got their hands dirty, really felt the magic of seeing seeds sprout and flowers bloom, making their learning experience something they will never forget. They learn to look for things that aren't, aren't growing well. Why is it not growing well? Um, problem solving, critical thinking, using all of those life skills that they're gonna have to use somewhere in a career someday and applying those to their everyday life. If I had an impact on like their environment, their home environment, we'll have more like health throughout our environment because they're taking the pollen to the other plants and it's just really cool. Be sure to stay in touch with us on all social media platforms to find out where we'll be at next. At Vanguard Academy with AeroVision, I'm Dan Hawk. This year's program is entitled After Me Comes the Flood. We wanted to make sure we try to find something really enter entertaining for our audience, but also thought provoking. We really enjoyed the source material by Peter Gabriel and Regina Spector. And we actually decided to take a literal take of the song Après Moi, which is French for After Me, which, which comes from the entire phrase Après Moi Les Deluge. So we decided to kind of take that music, take that source material, kind of turn it on its side and take more of a literal transition and translation to the actual floodwaters. This is our 10th year uh, in this program and I'm incredibly proud of this, the kids and the way that they stepped up for the performances. This is a very challenging activity, it's a grueling activity. Uh, our marching band schedule was awfully grueling and be able to put a season like this, basically it picks right up where marching band leaves off and leads us all the way to the, essentially the end of April. I'm just proud of their work ethic, but we always have tried to find the best possible performance experiences for our kids. There's not very many performance opportunities that are like WGI and what this activity offers. So I'm really just proud of the kids and believing in the system, working uh, together, trusting each other, and learning those life lessons so that our performances can come to life and it's a memory that'll last forever. We have a lot of incredible staff that work with us, both on the design side, we also have some instructional staff members that are with us year round essentially working with our students. So it's awesome for them to create and foster those relationships with the students. We really get to see the students almost sometimes more than their own parents with how much time they spend with us working on these programs. But it's something we don't take lightly. Those students and those staff members all have that buy-in for the same cause of trying to do what's right for kids and give the show and this experience, give it to these students. It's just something that's a really special gift and we're gonna keep doing it year after year. It's been hard at work really ever since this basically mid to late November of this 
program together. We've had a couple uh, local circuit shows. We just finished our circuit championships where we were awarded the Squash Circle State Champion, which is an incredible honor. And now we're gearing up heading to Dayton, Ohio for the WGI World Championships held at the University of Dayton Arena. Uh, the competition starts on Thursday the 18th, uh, starting with the preliminary competition. Uh, then after that, the top 20 uh, in our class advance to the Friday semifinals and the top 15 from the semifinals advance to Saturday's competition on April 20th. For those of you who cannot be there, there is a subscription service through Flow Marching where you can watch every single performance from all classes at all venues the entire weekend and also follow along with Broken Arrow and Door. Tulsa Bone and Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone and Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Casha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone and Joint, moving life forward. And welcome back to the Kirkland Soccer Complex. Broken Arrow leading 2-0 on Ponca City. Thank you, thank you As we begin the second half of play, some scores for you from around the area. Putnam City West, Norman 0. They're just getting underway. Westmore and U.S. Grant, 3-0 Westmore. 1-0 Putnam City and more. 2-2 two -two Bixby and Bartlesville. They're in the second half of play. Oh, good take right there. Oh, man. 2-1 Deer Creek over Edmond Memorial. Bishop McGinnis trailing Mustang in the second half. 1-0. JoJo David, Dan Hawk along the call for you here at Kirkland. BA on top. Two nothing. We'd like to thank our one club sponsors, First National Bank of Broken Arrow, uh, Since and St. John, Tulsa Bone and Joint, TTCU Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. I will say we are out there with most of like our, 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 our kind of our normal starting lineup. One thing I sadly saw, I got to talk about, I walked over there, I saw that Cameron Pebworth is in a boot. So he, I don't think we're going to be seeing him much out for the rest of this game unless something else crazy and they just let him out there. But Well, he took a nasty hit on the shin earlier in the game, so not overly shocked by that one. Hopefully he is back to full strength once the playoffs get underway. And we're hearing some chance from the student section.
It's a good give right there. It's still in the air. And they're going to say out of bounds. It's going to be a goal kick. That's going to be a goal kick for so Ponca City. Goal kick for Ponca City. One final in the NBA playoffs. Miami Heat 112, Charlotte 91. And the Kings and the Pelicans, 24 to 22. Second half just getting underway. And Goy to o We've got some David Goggins references from the Jungle Squad of who's gonna carry the boats. Shout out to David Goggins if you don't know who David Goggins is. That is a true man. There's a lot of the Jungle Squad members. From what I hear, they say it's kind of chilly outside, JoJo. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We had the man himself, Nathaniel Nate Groves, up in this booth. Shout out to him and the track team as they came back from getting first place at the, um, the BA Relays today. That was going on all day during school. Um, boys and girls both got first place. And then also shout out to Cooper Wakeley, Caden Wolf, Brody Reed, and Jared Harrington for breaking the 4x4 four four BA record. Really? Today they did that. Good strike, but not too, not enough Just on it. Just a little it. too high. Yeah, but they broke the record. Um, by, and then also. What, by how much was it? I think they hit 319. Wow. And our. They're doing a lot of chance, and I love to see it. I'm kind of jealous now. I kind of want to go down there. Do you think we could get a JoJo Dan Hawk chant, maybe from the Jungle oh, Squad? Oh no! Like, like, like request for a chant, or like, yeah, be like uh, or should we like Facetime them and do a chant with them? <laughs> we could do. I could do that. You know, that might be the first. I don't know if Blake Shy, our producer and engineer, would allow a Facetime chant on the broadcast. Probably not. So probably not. That's really Four minutes have passed in this ball game. I am thoroughly enjoying the chance. I'm just like, I don't know what to watch. The soccer game with a chance. I'm just caught into both. They got another one coming. Hopefully the Tigers have another goal coming too. As the, the jungle squad is taking over the sounds for this game, it feels like. Irvine's getting that one back. That's Charlie Baker, CB22, the singer. It is just another day for Charlie Baker. Stream another day by Charlie Baker on Apple Music. It's Hendrickson. He's going to get it back over to Ebon. Ebon, he's, he's had quite a quiet day so far. He hasn't had much action going towards him, but shout out to his defense for making that the, making that the case because he doesn't have to deal with that. Good give by Hendrickson to Tea Time. Tea Time's going to give that one over. I think that 16 is Angel Didios. I, I, he looks just like him, but he's just wearing a different number. So I think he's just rocking a different number, but I mean, for him, regardless of the number, dude, he's so good. So. And Goy's got that one. That one's going to go out of bounds. That's going to be a throw in for Thank Broken you, Arrow. And good Tigers. field Tigers. position here. One more time. Tigers looking to get it inside. And Goy gives that one over to Lowe. We got a Punk City player down. Now he's back up. Nope, he's still, still down. down. Tea time using his head. That was going out, but I think the Punk player got up. Hard to believe that six minutes have already passed by in this second half of play. I think that's Didios who's taking that corner. It's a flat one. And Ponka just hops right in front of it. Irvine gives it, but nobody's there to get it. So easy, pretty easy save for Nishizawa. And he flips it out to his defender. Uh, 
That one's going to scoot out of bounds. That's going to be a throwing for the Tigers. It'll be Tiger ball yet again. Yeah, we've got 33 minutes left of this game. I think Tigers comfortably can say that they've caught this W so far. The way they've been playing, I think they can definitely get some more goals. But if defense plays the ways that they've been playing, I think the Tigers are, are set for victory today, unless anything happens. But, I mean, you know, I might be speaking too soon, but I'm pretty confident in the guys. But I don't know if I'm confident in Josh and Goy saying he's going to get two goals. I will say that one is fading away. E boss. Gets it up. Tigers kind of just playing a little bit of keep away. Yeah, CB back over to E boss. And that's JH, the wall that stops the ball. Bringing it downfield, getting it over to Didios in the Grinches. Could you imagine if Kobe, they started making like cleats? Oh, that'd be, oh man, that makes a lot of money. Yeah. That'd be so cool. But I feel like Adidas is, Adidas is like the main place for cleats in soccer. Roberts with the shot, but good job right there. Then there was Michael Stevenson getting in front of that one, make sure he couldn't get a shot on goal. He's going to roll out. It's going to be a throw in for a broken arrow. As the weather has turned to chilly outside, it's got to be below 60 degrees. Yeah, that wind is blowing, blowing. And oh, that should be a PK. And it is going to be a PK. Bring Evan. Come on. Come on. Come on, coach. He's saying bring him. He's saying bring him. Oh, my goodness. This is a generational moment right here. The goalkeeper, Evan Boss. He is going to. Oh, my gosh. Nishizawa has been amazing today, but I want Nishizawa to miss right now. I want it to mess up more than anything. So goal kick opportunity for Evan Boss here. JoJo, take the call. Goodness, this is uh, he's got to put it in a good spot where it needs to be. Oh, he got saved. No, 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 no. E Boss. We talked about this man. Oh, for like hours. Oh, I'm hurting. E Boss. Nice attempt from him. Oh. But Ishizawa has been a force in the net. I know he's given up two goals, but there's been a lot of shots on goals. That was the moment. Oh, my gosh. And you got to give credit to Ishizawa. Yeah, that was insane. He's played great so far today. Through the odds of Ben Osborne. Good give and go between those two. Osborne's going to send it through. Send me another corner kick for the Tigers. He boss looks like he still wants to come out oh, here. Oh, he's so saddened. But <laughs> Alex Morovsky and Marcus Givens getting ready to come in. You know, I know that goalies normally don't do what he did there, but just talk about the patience that they have to have in the back of the net because not a lot of action comes in through games, and when they do, they got to be on for just a split second. Jacob. Honestly, if you're not watching film about specific people when it comes to, like, Okay, I'm so disturbed by this chance. If you're not watching film like how a specific player takes the PK, it's honestly a chance of just like guessing left, right, middle, top. Mid That's really what it is. Oh, Ngoy. Oh, Ngoy, the African prince. So simple, yet so beautiful. Such a strike with the header in the net. That's 3-0 Tigers. What a beautiful header from Broken Arrow. And the flag goes up. The fans are hype. I'm hype. Dance hype. The water is out. It's getting squirted everywhere on the players. Check the board, they're saying, and we are checking the board. 3 0 Tigers, man. So now it is 3 0 with 29 39 left to play in the ball game. The Tigers. Will now play a little bit of defense for less than about 10 seconds as it's going to go right back to Broken Arrow. Tigers have maintained this lead and have played some pretty solid soccer throughout the course of the contest. Evan Boss, the goalie, getting his first chance 
on a goal kick. On a PK, that is. Didn't get it to go, but great effort out of the, the goalie. Chance uh -oh. here for Broken Arrow. That's a goalie. What a move. He's going to keep it. He's keeping it. Oh, Demorowski. Oh, man. Oh, man. That could have been something. But then Goy's going to keep control of it. It's going to be a good call right there. Free kick opportunity. And with the strength of the legs of these guys we have on this team, we can do something. The energy level seems like it has been picked up here in the second half and it's, for Broken Arrow. It's crazy. I, I, I think it might be the chance. It might be just the engagement of just, like, showing their presence. I mean, we told Nate earlier when he was in there, I said, let's get a cola chant. We got a cola chant going. The vibes are great. Morassi's going to take this one. He has the option to either take the pass and cross it over to his players over there or take the shot himself. I, th I say he takes it. and He's going to give it where it, nah, nobody got there in time. Put a little too much on it, a little too much curve. Thank Easy to save from Nishizawa. It's up in the air. Tigers oh. now again on the attack. Under 28 to go. Then we could see one, two more goals possibly, Dan? Potentially. I don't think we're going to get that 10 0 mark. Definitely not. I'd be crazy if we do. That'd have some, that'd have to be a lot of luck and a lot of lack of defense, more so than strength of offense. And they're just going to kick that one out of there. I couldn't handle the pressure. As Michael Tigers. Stevenson just booted it out, he was just like, no can do. It's a lot of a lot of good jobs, great jobs by Morofsky and Goy doing their jobs. And I will say with Ngoy, I doubted him. I said, I don't know if he can get that too. He's got one. So who says no to another one? Well, he's been playing tough, and he did tell you that he was going to pick up two goals against Ponca City here. Yeah, we got we got two. Um, we got a. Uh, I don't know if Lowe is a freshman or a sophomore, but Tigers once again on the far side. Good speed right there. The whistle got blown for some reason. I think it was just like pulling up the jerseys, what I saw the ref signify. Free kick or what to Ponca City. So free kick for the Wildcats. So we're almost to 25 minutes to go. That wind is blowing very hardly, but Tigers still playing with great effort, not letting the wind affect anything of the way they're playing, the way the ball's going, anything like that. So So far, we've got one goal by a senior. I'd love to see another goal by a senior. Josh and Goy steals that one easily. Just give me that one. Gives it over to Morofsky. Uh oh, huh? nobody there to get that one. And Nishizawa, did he touch that? That's going to be a goal kick for the Ponson. He says no. So the referees signal that it will be a goal kick. Yeah, it's just going to be a goal kick for them. They're sending it over. Good attempt of a header by Dedios, but T Time's got it. He's got the speed to take it all the way himself. He's going to get over to Ngoy. Back to T Time. T Time can get there too. And Givens is going to. Oh, man. What an attempt. Hope Givens is all good. I think he's okay. He's slow to get up. Yeah, that could have been him or T Time. They have the speed to get there too. Dedios taking it around the corner. Dedios all by himself. The freshman, two goals a game prior to the one last time. Dedios with the strike. Ooh, what a shot. That's going to be a corner kick for the Tigers. And that's the Tiger Creed, Dan. And show gratitude in my daily life. I have high expectations for myself and others, and I show respect through my actions and words. I am a Tiger Roar. That is the Tiger Creed, Dan. You just saw it live and in person. Good give. Oh, is that? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Alexander Morofsky with the goal in the net. And he did the celebration. 
I don't know what he was doing with his arms, going left, right, left, right. I don't know what it was, him and Ochoa with the moves, and that's 4-0. And I'm a happy fella because I just got to show off my vocals to like 400, 500 plus people watching. Shout out to that. Four nil Tigers 24 minutes ago. We got four guys getting ready to check in as well. Yeah, Tigers are pouring it on right now with Ponca City with just under 25 minutes to go in the contest. And with this, unless something breaks, you're looking at a team that is going to go out as big time district champs by running the table going undefeated. 100%, man, what a season for the Tigers. And man, what a season for us, Dan. We got, we got a lot, we got caught these games. We had a, had, a, had a great time together. And we got still a few more games to go, man. Still a few yeah, more. Playoffs up next for this Broken Arrow team, barring anything wild that they give up a 4-0 lead. Good ball control by Irvine, keeping that in his area. He's just gonna kick that one out of the air. But I think I think it was good, even though even though his That's lazy good. turnover, Marcus getting it out of that area is kinda dangerous. You know, him and him and Evan Mills were kinda going back and forth with the ball. So just getting it out of there, playing it safe. It's five nil. No need to go anything crazy. I don't know, I heard Alex Morovsky signal something with twelve. I don't know if that's whenever they're gonna get taken out or something. I think he wants another goal. On Hell Didios running over here. I don't know why. Oh, they have 12 guys on the field. He didn't come off the field. Okay. That's what it was. That's why 12 was signified. Okay. Good job by Irvine putting his foot out there. It's going to be the first corner kick for Ponca City. That's some dominance, if anything, that Ponca's had their first corner kick, first kind of momentum on this side of the field. Just defense is doing what, they, what they've been doing all season. And Ponca's just, I think, it, is it 4 or 5 0? 4 0. Oh, okay. I don't know why I thought it was 5 0. Some scores for you, pending this kick from the corner. Easy save for E-Boss right there. Calm, cool, collected. If I'm him, send her over to, send her over to Rosinski. Come on. I would have booted that one. I would have trusted Rosinski with that speed and that large frame to go past these two guys and, and get in the net. 2-2, Two -two, Deer Creek and Edmond Memorial. They're in the second half. Putnam City on top of Moore, 1-0. 2-2, one two -two, Bartlesville and Bixby in the second half. 3-0, Westmore over U.S. Grant. 2-2, two -two, Bishop McGinnis and Mustang. And those are only scores. Union and Jinx, they're still knotted up with nothing on the board in the second half. E-Boss just stops that one from going anywhere. Now the Tigers work in the middle. <laughs> Big boot up to Rosinski. Oh, so they got challenged, the Jungle Squad, to do 40 chants in 40 minutes, and it has never ah. been done. So they are attempting to do so, but time is ticking. As well as the clock is for this game as Ben Osmore getting ready to check back in. Now I will say my selfish heart wants to see E-Boss go back out there. And I, at this point I'm like, man, the missed opportunity on the PK, I would just send him out in, at, at that forward position and just try to get a goal. Good job. Ah, oh, I'm going to call that one on Irvine. He, he went a little, a little too aggressive, I guess, on Dax Aragi. Just going to give that one to him. Nice header by Broken Arrow. Mario Naranjo coming down the field. Rosinski's got it. Already has a goal on the season as well. Gets it over to Naranjo. Ah, nobody there to get it. Kamarovsky with the speed. No, that goes out of bounds. It's going to be goal kick. I think that if Kamarovsky didn't touch that, it could have been a corner because it kind of touched the Ponca defenders. So tee time's coming out for Ben Osborne. Hit the 20 minute mark. <laughs> Ponka's got something going for him, but Charlie Baker cops right in there, kicks it out, and says, No, siree. This time, we'd like to thank our one club sponsors First National Bank of Broken Arrow, Cincinnati St. John. 
Tulsa Bone and Joint, TCCU Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. Good cross right there. Going cross field with it. But Morofsky's there. And also is Ben Osborne and does a good job pressuring him into touching it. And that's going to be a goal kick for the Tigers. And that's the proud sponsor of Broken Soccer. They want to wish the Tigers soccer team a successful 40 cheers in 40 minutes. Tigers. Do we know where they're at right now? Where at? What, what specifically? Like how many they've done so far. Um, I'm, We're currently texting in our group me. I'm trying to find out how many they're at. They're 18 and 18 minutes right now. Or they, they were at 18 and 18. So okay. I don't know what the, the updated one is. But, oh, that could be an opportunity. Rosinski. Oh, oh, get into that. Get into that. Ah, that would have been one that for Rosinski. almost went in. So it shows that being aggressive means something, and Rosinski had the opportunity there. Could have been a sight for sore eyes with two goals on the season on this home court. You ever wish you were like Irish or, or Scottish? Because their accents are so cool. I think they have the coolest accents in the world. Well, you did give us a Scottish accent the last game. I did. In the week. If we score again, could, nah, I can't do it more than once. Oh, good slide tackle right there. Picture perfect stuff. They're doing the janitor man version of boom chicka boom. Allen's got it. We he's got speed. Got a Ponca City player, and he's thriving in pain. I think he's all good. It might be his arm. I'm not sure. I think he's all good. Hopefully, just I think his he's wrist. Good too. I think he just lost it on his hands. I see he's all right. You know, we always talk about it. We never want to see injuries no, affect the player's performance or take them out of the game. So hopefully P Cameron Pebworth is all good for next week, obviously being a team captain. It's a big piece on this team, a huge piece, huge leadership role, things of that nature at that center defensive mid position. So hopefully he'll be all back and healthy for next week. Good give by Charlie Baker. Rosinski and Morofsky are both there. And it gets lost. I think it might be, they're going to say goal kick. I wasn't sure who it had hit, but Hama Lama, Killian Hama getting ready to come in. Coming in for Jack Irvine. Killian Hama. Hama Lama getting the call. Killian Hama coming in. So we're down to 17 Accuracy minutes and some change. Tigers, Tigers get it back. Morofsky coming down. He can get a second goal. He did tell me two as well. Good give to Osborne. Good stuff by the Tigers. Man, that was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that's Marcus Givens. Man, that is some shades of some seventh, fifth grade soccer with him and me connection right there. I know it's a selfish plug talk by myself, but that was just beautiful stuff. Had a mention that we played together. Good stuff by Givens. That's 5 0 Tigers with 17 to go. And the big BA is flown out as well. Tigers now with a commanding 5 0 lead with 17 minutes left in the game. Nice footwork, nice passing. Exactly what Broken Air was searching to do to put that one in the back of the net. That's the chance showed that we just scored, we just scored, we. So check that board because it is 5-0 Tigers with 17.09 exact to go. The scoreboard, man, beautiful stuff we're seeing from it. No mistakes so far today. Scoreboard just scoreboarding it up. But I do want to see a Rosinski goal. Jack attack, Jack Irvine. Over to CB, Charlie Baker. He's feeding this one. Naranjo can get to there if he can. Punk's just going to boot that one away. Ole. Oh, okay. I'm going to. 
That's going to be a thorn for Parker City. You know, it's a cool fact we find out. You know, we talk about Irish and Scottish people a lot. Um, a famous Irish soccer chant is ole, ole. You know, and we do that one very commonly. You know, so there's a lot of, a lot of good chants by the Irish, so we're just going to. That's going to be a throw for the Tigers. Hoping we can hear some Irish chants. Now I think they're just coming up with some fun chants. Let's yeah. go soccer. They're just digging off the top of their head. I said after this game, we'll be um, doing a prom proposal. Ah, I forgot about that prom proposal. Hopefully it'll be exciting. <laughs> so, Tigers with a big lead here on Ponca City. Playoff bound Tigers will be the overall seed with the way they've been able to play. Currently, so far so good from BA. Fourteen minutes. Brzezinski trying to get in there, but that one's just going to go out of bounds. It's going to be Gavin Dill coming in, coming in for Jack Attack. J H Jack Hendrickson getting his well-deserved rest. Some good stuff from him today. Obviously, sadly, no goal. But obviously, from a center back, you're not going to ever see much goal scoring, more defensive stuff from him, so. Yeah, Jack had a GPA higher than a 3.75. His favorite foods are street tacos. He likes the movie Hunger Games, and he enjoyed the ride by Drake. Hama Lama putting some moves on, but gets it stolen. Allen doing a good job providing pressure over there. You know, entering the playoffs, they're going to be playing a lower-seeded team, obviously better than what we're seeing here out of Ponca City, but they are going to see a tougher challenge in the playoffs. What do you want to see out of this Tiger squad, JoJo, to get things worked out, kinks worked out, to get ready for a stretch run in the playoffs? I feel like a lot of the negatives that we have seen from this Tiger team has been shut down by good acts of positive things later on down the line. They kind of learn from their mistakes really well. I mean, outside of that Bishop Kelly game, I think it's been pretty good. And, ah, that's going to be a corner kick for the Tigers, that's though. I might need Blake to get our students jungle squad here. They're running on a roller coaster. This could be this could be pretty good Aerovision footage if our cameraman can maybe get it. We'll see. You got to give credit to the jungle squad tonight. I really do. They're really staying amped up in a very chilly night. That was a great roller coaster. 10 out of 10 experience and that's going to be a corner flat one. And oh, 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 man, that could have been close. something. It was close. I wish they would open my chats. I sent them some Canadian and Irish chants to do. But they have yet to check their phones. I know some of those members are cold down there because they don't have a jacket. <laughs> you know, for... For some of our viewers, they might be students watching this, JoJo. If they want to be a part of Jungle Squad, you know, you're coming to your final weeks in this. Tell me about what your time with Jungle Squad and what it meant to you. And, you know, tell us about how if students want to get in it, how easy it is to be a part of it. 
You have to sign up on um, that's like a, a Google Home you have to sign up for. Then you get interviewed by our three leadership teachers. They talk to you about some things, about your dedication, things of that nature, grades, stuff like that. And then um, the day after school, we have tryouts, and we're trying to do a Dan Does Stuff Jungle Squad tryout edition. Oh. We would love to see it. Wait then, a minute. You didn't tell me about this. Is this going to be happening? No, 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 no. We just want you to do it. I don't oh, think it's going to. Oh, okay. Like, if, if you wanted to do it, yeah, we don't want to force you to do it. But, like, we, we run flags for, like, a lot of times, and then after that, we you have to make create a chant. You have to perform it in front of everybody. Oh, oh, Rosinski. Oh. Ooh, that could have been something right there. And they're doing a third ride on the roller coaster. This has never been done before. Normally at football games, the most we do it is one, but they're doing multiple. But, you know, break down if you want to be a part of Jungle Squad for your memories of it. Something you, you glad that you got to be a part of it the whole time? Probably one of the coolest things that we have at the high school. I mean, a lot of schools, like, sought after and try to see what, how that could do it. I mean, um, the Hawk Squad at Union, um, the Wolf Pack at Norman North. A lot of schools, like, come down and see how it is that we do it, but... Also, we have a, a DJ in our student section of football games, so it's pretty easy to get student engagement when you have a literal party at every single football game. You know what I mean? So I think just what we do at BA, the culture is really cool in Jungle Squad. Shout out to J Jason Jadamski for starting that. But one of the coolest things is, I mean, not, not only is it just like being at football games and stuff, but you also get to be a part of a bunch of things around the community. You get to go down to like the PAC, do stuff, middle schools, elementary schools. Yeah, I mean, so it's more than just being like a bunch of preppy guys helping out at sporting events and do tants. It's a lot more than that. And it's, it, it is a form of, in a sense, I guess, community service because the hours that we do and do stuff. So let's go to your college resume. So I put it on there when I applied for colleges. Yeah, tell me about the the activities that you do because I know you go to a lot of middle schools that I've been involved with activities with reading or whether it's Before the, we get to that, I feel like we're going to have a, something yeah, to go right we here. we might have one. Rosinski. Ah, oh, Allen's got it still. Take a strike. It's going to uh, deflect off a defender. It's going to be a goal kick. I think it should be a oh, corner kick. Oh, a goal kick. Excuse me. I thought that deflected off a defender, but maybe it's just a really high shot. You, you were, you know, you've been involved with the – the uh, Tulsa Oilers hockey team, I know you guys did that event. You've done a reading events. There's a lot of things that you try to pump up school spirit. Just break it down for your for your time with uh, BA, kind of the stuff that you guys have done. It's a, it's one of the best things you can do for one year. I, feel like, I mean, obviously you get to go to football games. And for football games, we take a bus and we go, we go um, over to, like, you know, normal for the football games. You get to go eat uh, all as a group and we go football games. And after football games, we do basketball, soccer, um, Baseball, volleyball was our first sport that we normally do, um, and then we also, like I said, with the, around the community, we get to be a part of a bunch of cool things, a bunch of events that we do all around. So it's, it's not even like just like on the aspect; and it actually means stuff to the community whenever we show out to stuff and do chants. Like you within the adults like hate it. Not everybody likes it, but at some events they like they like, they love to see us there and stuff. So it means a lot to just the whole community of Broken Arrow because the overall is like we didn't, we didn't seem like oh that's a jungle squad so seeing the youngsters uh oh this might be a goal for Ponka Tigers just got to make sure to get out of there and E-Boss seeing the, the youngster kids at Sequoia and Creekwood and so forth you know the reaction from them what is that what is that giving you yeah for me I'm all about seeing other people happy over me that's what makes me happy seeing other people happy um, so just like being a part of that it's like I can put a smile on a kid's face just by showing up and just being loud and energetic because they just love us whenever we do that then we got a fifth roller coaster coming up and i know you also did the uh, color run Yo, as well see that is you know what's crazy vandiver's doing another color run this is going to be the third color run we have to be a part of we ran 12 miles the first one second one was like two and a half miles i don't know what vandiver has in store but i'm scared brother i am tired so you're gonna be in the best shape of your life is what you're telling me. very much so but i mean like at the same time like man those kids are they are energetic I will say, with this, this like, middle school, like, elementary kids, I talked about it last year, they love Ronaldo, they love YouTube, and they love hitting the gritty. Like, those are the three things they just they just are love doing so what much. What is hitting and, the gritty? Like, you know the gritty? Like, it's like a like right foot creep. Oh, it's, it's a song by Amy Youngboy. Oh, but thought, it's like, like the gritty, said, it's a dance. It's a I dance. thought you said Grimace for McDonald's for a minute. I got a little There confused. was actually a trend, like, a, a while ago. Is it the Grimace shake trend on TikTok? And it's like, who would get, like, the Grimace shake? And they'd be like grimace, and then they'd like be like really weird after drinking the drink. It was a really weird trend. That, but that one goes back to the middle. JoJo, you know, we're coming out of the final minutes of this ball game. We got a couple other players that are going to come out on the field. But your time is 
senior at Broken Arrow is coming to the end. Has Thank that goodness. <laughs> uh, that is the answer that I have, man. I love it. It's fun, but also the next chapter of life is coming up, and I'm excited for Has that. Has it hit you, though, that you're out of, like, you're at a point in your life where you don't have to go to school if you don't want to. You chose to. I feel like a lot of seniors are different. A lot of seniors, like, I, I feel like uh, I, I'll connect to the soccer team. There might be some seniors on this team that are like, oh, I'm so excited to leave. Some of them are like, oh, I'm so sad to leave. Some of them are like, you know what, I never really cared. It's always a mix. I feel like for me it's not going to hit until like the day of graduation because it hasn't really hit yet. It's more so I'm excited to leave, but I think that day is like going to be like the sad day. Then after that will be Chillington. Big Chillington. Your speech is ready. Very much so. Have you read it yet? Like, yeah. Like timed it out? I have it five minutes and 24 seconds. Not bad. I like that. I like that. I don't like long-winded speeches. Do you have any uh, quotes from movies or anything like that? I, in can't, I can't tell you that, Dan. Well, you but I will say, you know what I can tell you? There is a seventh roller coaster going on in the student section. This is record-breaking stuff. Is that a goal? Oh, good shot right there. But was blocked by Ponca City. So five minutes and 40 seconds is your speech. Fair. Five minutes, 24 seconds. Ah, that's going to be out of bounds. You think, how many teachers do you think? Teachers. In your speech, do you think oh, how many te teachers? Do I, I can't tell you. Dan, I can't tell you that much. There's viewers watching, and you're here, and I, I get this classified information. It's classified Joe, documents. It's called a tease, buddy. It's called a tease. You can tease a little bit of your speech. I can't, Dan. You know what? It, here's one thing it says. Class of 2024. Oh, man. I've yeah. heard that one. Will you mention uh, the fact that you and I were on the call at all for any of this? You'll see. Oh, there! Oh, oh, that's a throwback. I started that chant. I created that chant. In fact, what is the chant, Jojo? Nice, Paul. That teacher right there is Mr. Thompson. His real name is Paul Taylor Thompson. And at the football game, he was rewarded like teacher of the game. And I started a chant with the mic. I said, "Nice, Paul." And I have a shirt that says, "Nice, Paul." Has Tommy T number two in the back, and has his face in the middle of it. Coolest shirt I own. Osborne worth a strike, but it's going to hit that. Osborne wanted that one on senior night. <laughs> so four minutes remain here. And Broken Arrow will pick up a big time win on senior night. America night, by the way. USA, baby. It's the best. Th I think USA is like the most bought in theme. USA and Pink Out are the most bought in themes that we have because those are good themes. But my favorite is when you dress oh, up, the, the, dude. The that retirement one retirement day or, or the old people day. That's a good one. Yeah, Jace is the one who the one in the the USA. Oh, he, he's the one who created that one last year. They started it. So you know, this year I dressed up. I loved it, but I was very sweaty. Rosinski wants a goal opportunity here. They have he a good look it. on him. He's on the near side, wanting them to send it up to him. And they want they want to, too. They want to see the man score. I think we all do, too. It's about to get really loud in here. Three, getting towards three minutes flat to go in this game. 5-0 Tigers, confident win today, confident way to finish an undefeated record in district play this year. Now the question is, can we carry this momentum and win a state championship? Because last year we got there, but we lost, and that was a painful loss too. I was actually at that game, I've said it before once, I'm saying like for the 20th million time, it was a painful game. And every single day after practice, the boys team would do penalty kicks at the end of the day to make sure that didn't happen again. We do have some final scores for him, yeah? Deer Creek, 4-2 to two final over Edmund Memorial. Oh, good Jinx. gift to Rosinski. Uh-oh. Oh, I see something. Rosinski. Ah, deflected off a defender. Oh, oh it's out of, that's corner kick right there. Jinx and Union final, one nothing Jinx. At the half, Westmore and U.S. Grant, 3-0 Westmore. one nothing final with Putnam City and Moore with Putnam City winning. 3-2 in the second half, Mustang and Bishop McGinnis. 2-1 Norman over Putnam City West. And here, 5-0. Ponca City, Broken Arrow on top on the corner kick. And it's and in the back of the net. Is that Rosinski? That's Rosinski. Oh, they're running. Oh, they're running. They are hype. He really hits the celebration. Fist in the air with excitement. The flag is up. The hype is up. 
I am up. 6-0 score. The score is also up. What a beautiful way to end this day with the Jeremiah Rosinski goal. Jeremy, what's the nickname again, Dan? I already forgot it. Ukraine Hammer. The Ukraine Hammer. Hammering it down like Thor to make it 6-0. It's hard to believe Rosinski is just a freshman. On the roster it says that, but he is not. That's really, and they're chanting Jerry. Oh, it ended, I would have joined. Jerry, oh, they, don't, they won't hear me, sadly. I wish. <laughs> Man, we got three or four, three or four, I don't know how much it was, three or four goals by seniors today. I would say it was a successful day for senior night for the boys and the girls. Confident wins. Hopefully we can see a girl home playoff game come this time, and that'd be really nice to see because we already have the guys hosting, so why not have the girls hosting too? Rosinski wants to play for Liverpool FC in England. I don't know why he want to play for Liverpool. Uh, I, whenever he said that, I said, I'd want to do Chelsea. But he's a Liverpool fan. That's all the Liverpool fans on the um, field. Him, Jack Hendrickson, Killian, Hamalama. Um, and also my little brother right beside me is also a Liverpool fan. So shout out to him. I'm personally a Chelsea fan. I was born in it. I'm not going to switch up even though we're not good. So, yeah. So the Tigers are gonna walk away a big time winner to close out senior day. Six nothing should be the final barring anything wild here. Tigers will enter the playoffs on a long win streak. Yeah, it's about that time for that promposal. Gonna get ready for that one right there. Win here, Broken Arrow will improve to 14 and 1. 7 and 0. Oh, good spin move district. by Hamalama. Hamalama! Oh, Hamalama! Man, that was so beautiful. I would have screamed and laughed, cried tears of joy. Nine, I'm trying to hurry eight, quickly. Seven, Corner kick six, here. Five, four, three, That's going to do it. Two, one. We'd like to thank JoJo. He's going to get down on the field for a senior day, prom day special. But the Tigers are victorious 6-0 on the boys' side. The Lady Tigers victorious 10-0 on the girls' side. And that will do it. We'd like to thank our one club sponsors, First National Bank of Broken Arrows, and St. John, Tulsa Bone and Joint, TTCU Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. I want to thank Greg Spencer, director of Aerovision, Blake Shy, our producer and engineer, JoJo David, my color analyst, and the students that helped along with the broadcast. The final once again, 6-0. That will do it tonight at Kirkland. Until next time, go Tigers.